baby Goku, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, like, like it, it'd be like how it was in the fucking, in the pod. Like, he's in that pod and crying and shit just from his cries and his anger. He just, like, fucking completely dis- disintegrates Kiba. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, he'd be crying and he fucking shoots the fucking... Or, or he just farts, you blast. know? He farts and shits at the baby, you know? And just fucking no, Kiba would be Kiba. talking shit. Goku turns into a great ape. That's, that's raps. Literally, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be uh, become Howard, Okage Goku, and then he's like, What the fuck are you saying? And fucking slams him. <laughs> Goku would be like, Fucking retard. He just turns into an ape. Be like, oh shit. <laughs> um, who do you think is a bigger shit talker, Madara or Ishiki? Dude, Ishiki was so disrespectful. Madara would be blaming about it. He's like, you pussy. Yeah. But Ishiki would be like, Ishiki's subtle. He's like, Let me let me take my shoes off real quick. I apologize. Like, he's like, fucking very subtle about it. Um, <laughs> I made Ishiki a reaction more... video for that, Jay. The title yeah. of the video is like, this This motherfucker <laughs> took his shoes off to beat Naruto's ass. <laughs> I think Madara is probably more witty, but Ishiki's just weak, man. Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the savage. Yeah, no, it, it's like, yeah. like Madara, he's he's about it in his own way. And it's more like, like you said, you know, it's more a little bit contained in a way, but or sometimes it's pure fucking savagery, you know, like whatever. Yeah, I did. But Jigen, he does it in a more just fucking honestly like, I, yeah I, i'd be more offended fucked. by ishiki like, yeah like ishiki would offend me more ishiki monitor would just be like you're a pussy ass bitch i'm better than you and be like all right ishiki would be like i apologize uh i'm sorry for taking uh that wasn't polite and then he whips my ass i'd be more offended to be honest literally uh, bro yeah that's just me i'd, I'd be like oh, even when he's fighting like he calls you inferior creatures or he's just taunting you the whole yeah. time like all chill and shalom about it at you like, and shit. yeah la- like uh, he's just so cruel while Madara, yeah, he does it cool. in the more chalant way, you know, like the more like, oh, yeah. you're just a little bitch, you know, like fuck you, I'm I'm that guy. But you know, Jigen, he's just yeah, a straight up dick. He's such a fucking yeah, he's a punk. fucking dick. <laughs> yeah, bro, he, he's the ultimate fucking just shit talker. Yeah, like, Madara just, is more. I would never be able to 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 fathom that. Like, who goes yeah. into your house? You know what I mean? And take and apologizes for wearing shoes. Takes them <laughs> off and beats your ass in your fucking house. <laughs> like... That fucking sucks. Imagine real like just imagine your home gets invaded by a rock like like a thief. He comes in, literally takes his shoes off. He's like, I apologize, and then he beats your fucking ass. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? <laughs> I'd be so fucking humiliated. I'd be like, you know what? Just take all my shit, bro. Take all my shit and go. Bro, that that man was fucking... lucky. His kids was in the house, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> like him and Wally and Borto would have disowned him. He's like, my, my dad's a bitch. Like, Literally. Fucking, yeah. Fuck no, bro. Or he nods. He not says that? like, hmm, okay. <laughs> See, I'm getting divorced. Right, I'm getting divorced, Naruto. <laughs> uh, if you watch Naruto without spoilers, he touched Jiraiya and Kakashi all die within a 26 episode period. Oh wow. Yeah, man. Yeah, Kishimoto was uh, on fire during that time. Um, in my opinion, Borto had one of the biggest comebacks I've ever seen in my life. Borto, uh, bro, got turned into Andona and got killed by his brother. Got his identity <laughs> stolen, became a criminal, got framed. Facts, dude. He's having one of the best glow ups in uh, anime history. So yeah, he's literally um, just like like Sasuke, but even better of a comeback. Like he, it's not even his fault. Like he didn't want this to happen. You know, the plot twist happened. He had to go through three years of hell. Developing his skills, he comes back, stomps Code in the face, rises up Sarada. Like, dude, he's that guy. He's that guy right now. So, you're yeah, right. So, I think so, he's to be back. fair, Sarada has always had a thing for him from day one. It was oh, kind of yeah, like yeah, impl- implied, though. But yeah, now once he was like that, and like he was like that guy now, Sarada like immediately yeah. just melted. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, he probably had a better comeback than even Sasuke, low key. I'm not going to lie. Um, I wish Aizen and Ishii had YouTube channels. That would be crazy. Uh, Orange Piccolo versus Ultra Ego Vegeta. So the way I look at the superhero, oh, well, now it's in the manga. I think when when uh, Piccolo and Gohan are referring to Goku and Vegeta, they're referencing the mo- the last versions they remember. So I had to deduce. I still think Vegeta and Goku are above um, Piccolo and Gohan. Um, I know people would use like even myself when the movie came out, we'd use like the statements. Yeah. Um, like from the movies and stuff. Like, oh, uh, they're talking about current Goku and like, uh, but now. It seems that Goku and Vegeta are above uh, Gohan, Piccolo. For sure, more likely Piccolo at least. Maybe Gohan's above them, but Piccolo I would assume is below them. Um, so I would say Vegeta probably beats Piccolo. 
apparently. It'd be weird um, as fuck for a, a, like a lower side character just to be above. Like it makes sense yeah. for them to try to catch up and not be too far behind or to be relative yeah, exactly. in a sense, but but for them to just blatant surpass that's some that's some fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I would deduce current Vegeta and Goku are stronger. If anything, I'd say Piccolo is maybe relative in power to the Broly movie Goku and Vegeta. But I don't and, know about current. Not only that, uh, even if like even if like let's say they were somehow stronger, what the fuck do they do against a fusion? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that will definitely. But they, they would have to be um, like Black Frieza level. In order for them to not be able yeah. to do a fusion, you know what I mean? Like that's that, how strong yeah. they would have to be. Yeah, exactly. Um, imagine if Ishii reacted to Kaga being sealed, Momo being beat down. Oh, right, he talks shit, bro, for sure. Oh, uh, for a murder I... he didn't. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, for a murder he didn't commit. His friends and teacher don't believe him. His parents are sealed. He's hunted for three years and pulls off a Jigen level opponent. Uh, yeah, exactly, bro. He's he's that guy right now. He's that guy. He's just that's... a fucking beast. Like he's like. Uh... What I'm really liking about it is he's a fine embodiment of an example of like what strong willpower is. Like he's going yeah, through exactly. so much shit, like just the mental toll, everything. Like the fact that he's still remaining strong into his shinobi way, and basically, and then even coming back with power and be like, nah, I'm just this strong. Like I don't give a fuck about any of you, buddy. Like I'm gonna do what I need to do. You guys are lost in the sauce, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, facts. Like he before that he was a whiny little kid. Like oh my, now he. He's that guy. Like he showed up, Stompko in the face, literally told him, "That's why you know bitches. Yeah. You're a bitch. I'm. A, you're gonna be my bitch. Better call these tentos off, or I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna clap you." No, and Code's no. like, "Oh, you got you. You talk a big game." He's like, "Well, I'm not, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. If you don't do this, I'm going to exterminate you." Like he's that guy now. So, um, yeah, he's definitely shown what we want to see. The reason why we didn't like Boruto for so long was because of his character. Yeah. The fact that he never had trials and tribulations. Now, I mean, the guy's a global terrorist. Everyone, even his own people, believe he's a fucking global terrorist. Yeah. So yeah, no, his character is, is getting yeah. some, getting some, definitely getting some massive way no better. Because the only thing he really yeah. had for people to kind of like him in a way, but at the same time, it's actually with a double edged sword, and people are actually like hated it in a way too. Um, yeah. It's like the fact that he was a genius, like a natural prodigy, like like Akashi flat out just states verbatim, like this motherfucker is like even like beyond like it was either he was in the same caliber as minato as a prodigy like you know when it comes to genius prowess you name it or above i don't remember but i have to go back but either way like he's just a, the fact that he's or is already so strong that young though was pretty c- fucking crazy though it was ridiculous like the man's fucking yeah he was definitely knowing multiple yeah. natures fucking Boruto stream to make him like insanely fast to blitz pe- blitz people that are like either equal or relative to him like then he has like his fucking vanishing rising on putting lightning to it. Then he fucking does a then he does like a wind style rising on. You know what I mean? And then like he, he gets that. Then he gets a compressing rising on, which is like a yeah, basically literally. a Rikery rising on in a sense. Yeah, he, like, he developed <laughs> extremely quickly. Like even before the karma, he was developing real literally, quick. Literally, like he so. was just a monster. And then he's over here like fighting outers and shit and and beating them fair game. Um, like he's yeah. he's a beast, bro. And even even the shit he did low key against Momoshiki, which is pretty crazy, you know. Um, yeah, so exactly. Like, so overall, like Boruto's uh, always technically been that guy in a sense, but his character was yeah. the problem. It was just so ass. His character, yeah, lack of development. Uh, yeah. Two bucks from Kedrick. Appreciate that, man. Um, he said Goku versus Naruto's characters. So now, as far as who I, I mean, that's a tough one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Goku is more. I mean, they're both idealistic, but Goku yeah. is more so idealistic. Like, he never wavers. No, it's very rare Naruto that wavers. he gives up. I mean, yeah. yeah, he wavers more in his career. Goku, one time I remember him distinctly, almost giving up. It was, um, I think it might have been against Boo or something, where Vegeta's like, "You better get your fucking ass up." Goku's yeah. like, "I can't do it." <laughs> he's like, "You better get the fuck up, Goku." Like yeah. he's tell, telling him to get up. Um, yeah. Goku has, I would say, probably stronger willpower than Naruto. Then again, the verses are different. Uh, you know, the stakes are different. The, the altercations I would, are different. I would agree with that in a sense because, like, yeah. like fucking Naruto, he breaks a lot through the show. He always comes back up. You know what I mean? I will admit that. You know, but yeah. he does waver. He definitely wavers a lot. There's many points where he's even conflicted, like even with Sasuke, like when he's finding out everything about him. Like, he has a lot of breaking. While Goku, he's pretty strong-minded for the most part, you know? And even when he, he really is, yeah. pushed, like... He's still, you know, and he's only really, it's rare. Like, he has, like, that one moment with Boo and whatever, you know. 
Um, or like if shit's getting really dire, he actually gets super serious and more like he's like, hey, like we need to fucking get this shit done. Like I remember, I remember that whole time where he's like yelling at Vegeta, like we need to fuse. If we don't, everyone dies. Yeah, like, exactly. You know, so like he like Goku has always just kind of been very strong in that sense. While Naruto, he's he's strong. Don't get me wrong, but eventually he has his limits. If you push him hard enough, he will waver. Obito's done it. Sasuke's done it. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yeah. Ishiki. Well, you know, so yeah, Goku is more of the. Uh, I mean, they're both extremely hyper masculine, but Goku is even more masculine. Even with yeah. with females, he doesn't give a fuck, man. Like he don't give a damn about that shit. He never simped in his a day in his fucking life. Like yeah. he's more idealistic. Naruto's more realistic, like more relatable. Yeah. Like he he has his days. He came from nothing. Yeah. Um. You know, he's more realistic. Their ideologies are pretty similar. They're both wanting to defend their homes. Um, Naruto and Goku. Goku's just more about action. He's more about, I mean, saying this within the same blood comes just a thirst for battle. Naruto yeah. is more of like an intellectual. I mean, in general, Naruto character is more intelligent. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Like, I, the, I would say it's, it's kind of like yeah. not even a fair comparison in a way, too, because Naruto's in different um, extreme diversities. While, like, because with Goku, he's like you're talking about a guy that has to face against people that are fucking monsters of power. You know what I mean? Like yeah, just exactly. absurd levels of power. While Naruto, for the most part, throughout his entire writing, he's always either been equal or er, like earned the power and strength to, to beat them, or the Nine Tails saves the day and he always overcomes his enemy. And you name it. While Goku has to really either earn his shit or just take the L and get beat the fuck up. And then come back, and you, and even with all that, still doesn't waver and just will just accept it. While Naruto, if he's not winning, eventually he he does waver and kind of eventually shows even sore loser tendencies to where like he's like fuck, like you know what I mean? Like he doesn't like to lose. You know what I mean? He just does yeah, not like that. Exactly. And Naruto's never exactly. pushed in those uh, scenarios and circumstances to where like things are always super dire or despair. That's really only happened against you know Obito. Um, when uh, mentally, when he's thinking about Sasuke of whether to kill him or not, that's also only happened when Ishiki comes down. You know what I mean? And and the, the, like, there's like the, there is a certain throughout where he's he's not really wavering with Ishiki. Like he's still trying to be that guy and talk his shit or whatever you name it. But eventually, it gets to a point where you know he he just he just you know starts like freaking out. Like when it comes to Borto and protecting and yada yada, like he just has his limits. He's he's human. You know what I mean? He's human. Like yeah, us, he's more you know? human. Goku's yeah. like more idealistic. Like. He's like the perfect epitome of like what a guy wants to be. Naruto is yeah. he's close to that too, but not as much as Goku. So exactly. Um, do you think Goten and Trunks still have a chance to catch up and be relevant in Dragon Ball, or has their time already passed? I think Toriyama is going to take his time with them, um, kind of like Gohan. It's going to be similar. Yeah. They're going to have their own rate. Do, do I think they're going to like surpass Goku? If that ever happens, it's going to take a long time. Probably um, take a hot minute. But yeah. I do th- <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a hot minute, but I do think they are gonna be relevant eventually. I don't think they're just gonna be Krillin or fucking Yamcha. No. I highly doubt that. They are the sons of two of the strongest characters in the verse, Goku and Vegeta. So yeah, I I, I highly highly uh, predict and conclude that more than likely they will be relevant again. Um, it's gonna take a while though. I think it's gonna be a long time. I think first we're gonna get Gohan. Honestly, I I do think we're gonna get Gohan versus Black Frieza. I just have a feeling it's gonna happen. I don't know why. I might be wrong. Maybe it's just fusion. Maybe it's fucking Gogeta with fucking Ultra Ego or some shit, but I do see Gohan and Frieza having an altercation. Um, and Go- Goten and Trunks will have their time, but not yet, I'd say. Absolutely agree. Yeah. Yeah. They're still young. They're still teenagers in high school and shit. If so. anything, Goten uh, might even get like a Gohan uh, arc for a moment where he's like pull something out of his fucking ass and he's just that guy momentarily, you know? Yeah. Him and Trunks, exactly. Yeah. So, or like their fusion. Um, like maybe it wouldn't even be them, but their fusion though is no joke or some shit. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Uh, do you think <clears throat> Borto hates Kawaki for what he did, and especially Code for attacking his own? He definitely hates Code. Now, as far as Kawaki, I, I think he under he understands. Like he he's probably mad at Kawaki, but yeah. I don't think he hates Kawaki. The way he sees it is like yeah, because if you it's guys like remember, he was willing. Away, you know? Yeah, if you remember, he was actually willing to let Kawaki kill him because he had Momo inside of him, right? Obviously, he didn't die because Momo, like, came out and healed him, but he was willing to die. Like, he was like, all right, I, I have a Tsutsuki in me. I agree with you. They should be extinct. Kill me. So I don't think he hates Kawaki. Um, I think he understands, but he's not going to just settle and allow Kawaki to erase the ninja way of his father. I think that bothers him. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to allow you to 
erase my father's honor, like what he created. And that's really what this is going to be based off even the, the time skip scene we see at the very beginning of Boruto. I think it's going to be like an ideological clash, kind of like Sasuke and Naruto, but yeah. different. Different. Um, Boruto, Boruto defending his dad's honor. Kawaki's trying to ensure that Otsutsuki never threaten people again. And he thinks that his dad's ways are outdated, that uh, Naruto's ways are outdated. So they're going to have that dispute. Code, he's it, more of like a... It, it kind of boils right back down to the dilemma between Naruto and Madara all over again. Yeah, you know, it's pretty like, much. It's yeah. like Madara's like, nah, you're, like, I get your ways maybe technically more more morally right, etc. or whatever, and yada yada. But it just don't fucking work, bro. Like, we're, we're going to either yeah. have issues still, you know, or we need a perfect solution. Or better yet, like, we I need to make sure there is no aliens, no bullshit, no threats. And that my man Naruto is safe to oblivion and just blatant peace. Like, Kawaki's just taking it to a certain extreme. It's in a different way, but it's similar, once again, to the ideology between Madara and Naruto when it comes to their version yeah. of reality and peace, you know? Exactly. So. It, it's really like, does hard work beat talent, right? Naruto, when he beats Momo, that kind of, uh, it sort of advocates for that ideology. Like, oh yeah, hard work still beats talent. Like, yeah, you're a god, you're a Tsuki, but me and Sasuke... Or above you because we work hard and you're, exactly. you're fraught. But but once Ishiki came, it was no longer the case. Even he, guys, he an talented. example. That motherfucker was fighting yeah. Jubi Madara with hard work alone. Exactly. You know? Yeah, even Jubi Dara. So Ishiki was able to beat the ideology. Not only beat Naruto and Sasuke, but he beat yeah, the he ideology. He destroyed for, it. Destroyed yeah, it. <laughs> destroyed it. Like, I don't give a fuck how 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 hard you work, you'll never beat me. And obviously Naruto and Kuruma had to do what they did and sacrifice Kuruma to beat him. So kind of boils now, down to the whole dilemma with Neji all over again too to Naruto. Like fate, you're just yeah. born, you have fate. You're born like no matter what, this is how it's gonna be. You know? Yeah, and I think that's what Kishimoto does so brilliantly. He he has like differing sort of antithetical ideologies, both be understandable. It's not just oh the good guy's always right. Like no, <laughs> actually Madara might have been right. Madara might have been right, you know, or Kawaki might be right. So yeah. it's like Kishimoto is very brilliant when he writes ideologies and sort of like thematic aspects for characters. Yeah, very, the very contentious brilliant at it. The, how controversial yeah. it can be, absolutely. He know. might be the best I've ever seen, like in anime history. It's real, it's real shit, bro. It's not some weird yeah. ass fictional bullshit. It's like legit, real, like you can relate type vibe shit. You know what I mean? Like he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a brilliant uh, author. It's one of the reasons best one of the best in the, of all time so uh why would Madara manipulate obito so wickedly and i compare that to situation to palpatine manipulating anakin that's a good yeah that's a good uh no obito is very but, similar to darth vader though their their character very, writings are extremely similar yeah yeah very very similar actually it's a good uh good analogy yep uh who had the cooler entrance naruto after pain blew up the leaf or sasuke the five kage summit that's a good question actually um, it's, it's kind of unfair me, to ask in a way too because they're yeah. both so goaded but in their own different aspect you know what yeah I mean? different ways um yeah. i had to choose I'd probably say naruto yeah pain arc's my uh, favorite for a reason yeah the way that he was introduced it seems like you know the all the toes, was yeah <laughs> yeah like sonata was seconds away from dying um the way he he came in was truly prolific, more like, dominant Sasuke too than in, Sasuke. Yeah, and dominant. Like yeah, he fucked up all a bunch of pains pretty fast. Sasuke came in pretty pretty cold as well, but he didn't have like that aura that the Naruto had. Like he's still cool, but Naruto came in with like yeah with vengeance on his mind. Yeah, like yeah, like they both had vengeance. Yeah. We'll we'll give it that, and they're yeah, you know, definitely. Um, but like Sasuke, he was a badass doing it, whatever. But once again, Naruto, it was just the scenery, how it was built up. You name it, just all of that. It was, it was really because don't get me wrong. Once again, like I get it, it was Itachi, him finding the truth, all that shit was crazy and legendary as well. The, you know, you name it. Yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying with Naruto is like just how it was. Like that man came in with all the fucking prep time. You know what I mean? Because he wanted this man down. You know what I mean? Like he comes yeah. there, it's all the toads there. You know what I mean? Which is insane because you never see like that many summonings together just to fight one dude. He's there in his new form of Monpaw. The entire village is fucking destroyed. You know, he 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 immediately realizes Kakashi's dead. He's like, Sanade, I can't sense his chakra. Is he on a mission or is he? And she confirms he's dead. Like, then you see like all that shit, you name it. And then he immediately deals with the summonings. Then fucking speed blitzes and one shots the Ashura path of pain. Like, 
just everything how it goes, he's just way more dominant, and it's just a better performance yeah. overall. So if I had to give yeah, it, I'd say Naruto. You know? Yeah, Naruto's uh, situation, like illustration, there was more stakes. The stakes were higher. Like, yeah, like Konoha was destroyed. Kakashi was dead. Fucking uh, Tsunade was almost dead. Um, the majority of Shinobi were, were killed as well. And he does it, it with, like, no help in a way, too. <laughs> yeah, no help. Like, Sasuke, stakes were high. Like, his life was on the line, but yeah. he wasn't defending an entire na- like nation. Like, that man was so. getting backpacked. Well, well, not backpacked, but he was getting so much assistance from Sagetsu and Kirin. Yeah, you know what I mean? He was. he was getting healed yeah. over and over, saved by Obito, fucking all this shit. Like, tons of help. While Naruto, yeah. for the most part... He did it mainly himself with Sage Mode. Like, sure, he had the frogs there and, you know, Mom Paw as well and then Intel from, you know, the slug. But but for the most part, he did the work. While with Sasuke, he needed absolutely somebody to do something in order to get what he needed to be done, if that made sense. You know what I mean? And then not only exactly. that, he didn't, like, he didn't immediately one-shot anybody. He struggled with the Raikage and they fought a very good battle. Then he, like, made a diversion because he's like, fuck this, I'm not fighting all these Kages. You know what I mean? He runs away, gets to the fucking where he needs to go. Then he's fighting all these people, but he's struggling the whole time. Like his stamina, you name it. Like no matter what, all of it, it's just in comparison. It's it's. Just, I'm sorry, but you got to give it to Naruto. Like he struggled. Yeah, like, even agree. Obito roasted him. Obito came in yeah. there and rose and said, "Bro, I thought you would have some fucking hostages and shit. Like what what's happening? Why are you struggling?" Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, so Naruto is just the better one. I'd say yeah. yeah. Um. Is it wrong to think that Naruto's free will argument against Madara is planned hypocrisy? Because why should he criticize Madara when he knows that if Madara succeeds, peace will happen? Um, I wouldn't call it hypocrisy because in his mind, he truly believes that removing free will yeah. is tyrannical and that no one man should have the ability to, to implement such a totalitarian plan. So I wouldn't call it hypocrisy. He, believe, he believes he to acquire peace, it should be done in a re- in an actual reality setting, like real. Yeah, like an illusion. organic way. Yeah. yeah. That's that's kind of an illusion, like figuratively, maybe mm. not like literally, but it's it is kind of an illusion. It's not true peace, and that's Naruto's perspective, at least. Yeah. So. Um, how strong is Giga ranked super high balled Ishiki? If I had to really just wank him, probably like Universal, but I doubt that. I would use that scaling though. Uh, Ultra Vegito Kaioken times one billion and one thousand Zeno <laughs> Sensu beans versus Zeno. <laughs> Zeno is omnipotent, dude. It's a racist. That's the thing. Oh, one thing to say though, because yeah. we don't we don't have a lot of information on barrier mode. Um, because I, I don't know if they ever explain further. I highly doubt it. Um, so it's kind of vague yeah. how it works. Cause it's like, is it just like a blatant power up to where you just immediately get that level of absurd power, or it's in combination with the user's power? You know what I mean? Um, so, I th- yeah. yeah, yeah. That that's really interesting it- to me because like the reason why I'm asking that is. Like, when he goes into that form, he's stronger than Ishiki. It's flat out stated that he's stronger, yeah, and he's just yeah, beating his out. ass. Like, Ishiki has yeah. relativity, but he is stronger. And then once the like once he gets um, low on time, and he gets nerfed in a way, now they're, they're equal to each other. And it's, like, fair yeah. game. And then he fully runs out, and then now Ishiki finally has the edge. Yeah. Um, the way Bear on the Mode seems to work, from my eye, is... Yeah. It's not only Kuruma's power, but it's like, yeah, it's probably a combination of both their right powers. And it yeah. seems like there's a, it's almost like a Gogeta fusion. Like they combine their own powers, but yes. then there's a, like a maybe multiplicative or perhaps even exponential increase on top of that. Like yeah. there's this reaction that occurs, which is That's what, what I was thinking, it's like a, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like a, like a nuclear fusion reaction. Like it's yeah. amplifying the energy to an absurd degree yeah. to the point where naruto's above ishiki like before that he couldn't even touch him but this amp is so substantial that he surpasses even like, even, even sasuke was like that fucking raw energy and power like what is it like oh my like it's so yeah. like potent you know like <laughs> it's like this this new form of extremely potent energy that is extremely uh temporary like it, can, it obviously didn't last long but yeah. the cost was kuruma's life obviously he's like well if we could do this but this is such a huge reaction that it'll, it'll talk it's gonna take my life so like, it, like, and, that's, and that's what but, I was thinking yeah. too, bro. Because like I don't think like if anybody just had Kuruma inside of them and they did that form that they beat like that level oh, yeah, of power. No, no, no. I, don't, I just I don't think that's how no. it works. Absolutely not. Um, I do think it's yeah. in sync with combination. And then most important, it also boils down to your skill and focus. Because Kuruma told him like if you mess up just once with you know any like striking 
or even j- any unnecessary juice or whatever, blah, blah, like you can immediately shorten the shit and you're done. Like you have to be yeah. completely perfect in focus and channel yeah, your, this your was, attacks decisively. Like <laughs> Yeah. Literally, this was only due because of decades of, I would say, conjunctive efforts together and decades of probably even chemical properties that took place between them just from being exactly. together for so long. I don't yeah, think like anybody Minato, would be able to replicate what Naruto did for how yeah, long like he Minato used to the form. War. Yeah. Exactly. Like Minato in the War, for example, probably could never use Baron mode. He need he would need decades of like a relationship with Kurma, yeah. conjunctive efforts with Kurma. And like, even if he could that, even if he could, let's yeah. say he pulls like a Minato like we did with the Sage Mode and KCM two cloak. Let's say he could, yeah. he's he's it's gonna last like for a tiny bit. Like n- like no, nowhere, yeah, like nowhere as long as Naruto. Like yeah. not even not even an average amount of what Naruto did. It would just be nowhere near. Like this Exactly. Is yeah. Uh, hope you're doing well, bro. How long have you been on? What's going on, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, mm-hmm. We've been on for about an hour and 50 or something. That's coming in, though, man. Yeah. Would love to have you on the channel, Jay. Oh, yeah, I think I saw one of your videos, Cash Talk. So um, feel free to join my Discord. Um, send me a message. We could talk about doing something, you know? Yeah, man. Um, I, I did see some of your videos, so yeah, for sure. Uh, we could talk about that. Um, I viewed Madara as being right because even now there's conflict. That's fair, man. I mean, yeah, he's, he's very understandable. Yeah. So. Even in the most peaceful era, when it's like really, really peaceful in the beginning of Boruto, there was still yeah. fucking murder, crime, you name it, human trafficking, yeah, exactly. uh, not human, oh uh, yeah, human trafficking and child trafficking going on in fucking Boruto, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. this like is you mo- see Anoki like, like lose his grandson, his grandson was murdered by these two like rogue criminal ninja or whatever, and like, and, and because he told his son to never back down and always try to fight and stay to your will his son died and got fucking killed like a little kid bro like <laughs> yeah literally so it kind of shows that you know there is some merit in Madara's ideology sure yeah. like you know naruto's out of the picture now he's not dead but he's basically out of the picture he's sealed so yeah. in a and, way Madara was right yeah so. and naruto he had like an arbitrary like amount of peace but it was obviously not perfect and it was pretty bad yeah like in certain parts of not, the world yeah. it really fucked like look at what exactly. Kawaki happened to Kawaki. Like that motherfucker's over here being yeah. literally trafficked as a kid and being abused, you name it. And then eventually yeah. it gets taken from Jigen. And then like all just a whole bunch of shit. Like like when I was watching through Boruto, it was pretty nuts how much crazy shit was still going on. Even though yeah, that exactly. was it, technically the most peaceful, which is like it yeah, kind of makes was... you wonder, like, damn, if this is the most peaceful. I can only imagine how it was before, you know. <laughs> like, oh yeah, like imagine how bad, how bad it was for fucking Madara. Like all they knew, literally, was death. Uh, that, that was hell. The so Madara was right. Or even no part one piece. Naruto during the third Okage. Yeah, even part reign. one Naruto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Gojo versus Candy Vegito. <laughs> Dude, Candy Vegito would fucking speed blitz fucking <laughs> Gojo. No. Like, I'm gonna be honest. It, 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 it's blatantly, unfortunately, with all that shit that came out, it's blatantly c- clear that if you're just scale strong enough, that you will shit on Infinity. <laughs> so yeah, like <laughs> if anything, Vegeta would just outlast fucking Gojo. So that too. Because um, uh, like it kind of goes to the question: like, do you think Goku or Vegeta and all these people can be able to destroy space and matter? I mean, if, if if he really had to, Vegito could just go outside and blow up the planet and kill Gojo. So, that too, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fucking easy for him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he is candy, but I mean, if you could if you could theorize, they could use key blast to just blow up the whole fucking planet like nothing. So. Yeah. Um. Do you know what uh, the easiest way to kill most versions of Wolverine is? Literally, just drown him. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't swim. <laughs> He's a heavy piece of metal in the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, that's another thing. Uh fucking uh, and not only that like that's if he even can use his ability but not only that he more likely could just get speed blitz before he can even use infinity yeah especially if it's not subconscious he will literally speed blitz him before he even so. yeah and, and jjk even mach 3 is like fast like they speak of like oh mach 3 holy shit that's like nothing to dragon ball they're like beyond the speed of light wait so. no way there's yeah, in jjk that's that's this level of speed yeah. they're saying is re- no like monkey i believe <laughs> like she got her her amp and they're talking about like mach 3 or some shit like that's not that fast in bro the yeah in the, in the yeah. fictional anime territory of shit yeah no, what about no gojo and sukuna that. has there been any speed scale they're, they're probably as far as speed, not really. They're probably about above Mach three and all that, but they're not light. Like, I saw highly, this like highly doubt that. I saw this random anime clip, and it's like Gojo said, like infinity speed or some shit, and 
he basically moved so fast and he killed like all these people. It looked like if they were just frozen in time. And he killed all these motherfuckers in like I think it was in less than a second. Or it was one second. Yeah. Was it less than a second or one second? I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, he yeah, his infinity ability, it's like you're moving towards him, uh, mm -hmm. and you're you're infinitely converging towards infinity. Like yeah. if he does have infinity on, mm -hmm. that that's definitely the case. No matter how fast you are, like even light will never reach him. Yeah. Um but yeah, if it's subconscious or you you're Sakuna and you find some hole and some way to adapt to it, then yeah, you're gonna kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so which Vegito, uh, worst case, he blows up the planet or yeah. some shit. So, yeah. oh yeah, um, I think about it, like if you can't touch the motherfucker, and you know what I mean, you're like you know what, fuck this shit. <laughs> like, yeah, you just you just die from lack of oxygen in fucking space or some shit. Literally. Yeah. Um, what was your guys' first memory of watching Dragon Ball Naruto? And which did you watch first? Oh, dude, Dragon Ball I was watching when I was like fucking toddler, like I was a kid. Um, Naruto I started watching once I was like middle school. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't start watching those two until I was in my teens. So. Yeah, I didn't. Wa I didn't start watching him serious. Yeah, until like teens though, and then yeah. obviously when I started scaling, uh, that was not until like almost college. Um, but yeah, Dragon Ball. I remember watching fucking Dragon Ball when I was like seven. Like I remember on fucking Saturdays it'd be on fucking. I forgot it was like Cartoon Network or some shit at night or something. It used yeah. to be on. The funny um, thing for me, yeah, that's that's how it kind of was for me. Like it was way back in yeah. the past when like I'm in my teens and like still in school and shit. And I remember I'm like at this. Like, I'm in uh, Atlanta, Florida. And I'm like at this because there was a friend of mine. His parents are rich. You had like this big ass fucking mansion and shit. And I'm like in this yeah. house chilling, whatever we're doing, whatever. And next, you know, like they have like this big ass theater screen in their house. And like Dragon Ball Z comes on on Cartoon Network, and it's like showing Goku going into Super Saiyan the first time against Frieza. Oh And shit. that's how yeah, that's I inspired. was first introduced to it. Like I was there. It plays out of nowhere. And I see like Frieza slaughtering his friends, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? And then next, you know, he gets like super pissed, goes super sad. I'm like, yo, this shit is heat. And I was like, okay. Holy and then shit. that's how I started I watching I from saw. there. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I first saw him go super sad too. I was a kid too. I was like, holy shit, uh, oh, that shit was crazy. And he started dogging Frieza. Literally. Like, <laughs> yeah, Naruto. I remember watching I see that fucking robot um, dude come on for the Cartoon Network. Yeah. It's like this guy sitting in a chair or some shit. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember um, Naruto vs. Pain seeing it for the first time. Yeah. I remember I, I wasn't even watching the anime. I just saw a random video. It was just Naruto vs. Pain full fight. And I put it on. I was like, holy shit, this is heat. I was like 12, <laughs> probably. That shit was fucking fire. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I, I, I didn't know anything about Naruto. I thought that Pain was his brother because he had like the same hair. I'm like, is that Naruto's brother? I didn't know <laughs> shit back then, though. Freaking, <laughs> I didn't know shit. Yeah, but that shit was fucking heat even back then, so. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah, let's see. Also, the free will argument isn't compelling enough for me because every time people have been given free will, the wrong path has always been taken. That's fair. Huh? Yeah. No way you're right. That's fair. Uh, would you rather get to see the warring stage period in the first, second, and third Great Ninja Wars anime or get a one-shot for 10 characters of your choice? Probably a one-shot for 10 characters because you'd, like, you'd be able to pick from different periods of history, like Sakumo, Hanzo, fucking uh, Fugaku, um... He would literally just I mean, pick any of the characters that need more writing and feats, you know? Yeah, like uh, that would give very relevant pieces of, of history anyway. Even but I, I wouldn't mind them, seeing, you know? Yeah, I, I wouldn't see, I wouldn't rant, mind seeing those uh, history periods animated anyway, but yeah. Uh, I watched Naruto when it first aired on Cartoon Network. Oh, dude, that was, those were the days, man. Uh, uh, they censored that shit would... to oblivion, though. That shit was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's they moments where it's supposed to be blood, it. and they censored that. There's moments where, like, they didn't show no nudity, nothing. Then you watch the manga or the uncensored anime, and it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, two bucks from Kedrick. Appreciate it, man. Give me a second, folks. I'm doing something real quick. Now I'll read what uh, Predrick said. Okay. What did he say? Uh, give me an example of epistemic humility. So epistemic humility... Is basically the practice of recognizing the flaws and even the most advanced forms of human logic. Um, so basically, never saying something is absolute. For example, technology. I think there's a statistic that states that every 18 months, technology evolves. And the reason why it evolves so quickly is because, you know, scientists, computer programmers, computer engineers, they they are aware and recognize that they're just scratching the surface of what is technologically possible. 
And the reason that they're able to advance so quickly is because of epistemic humility. Now, if yeah. you know computer programmers, for example, said, "Oh, we discovered the perfect software; we don't ever have to update ever again," that would be <laughs> uh, the opposite of epistemic humility. Um, and it's the same thing for philosophy as well. Like, for example, the United States, for example, right? Two hundred years ago, there was the horrible act of slavery, right? Now, if we were, if we had, epi if we lacked epistemic humility, like the Confederate South did, we never would have escaped that. Right, because to them it's like, oh, this is the perfect system. We have uh, free labor. Like, yeah, that's fucked up shit. But obviously, you know, the the Union, Lincoln, um, they said, no, nah, we have to be. We're, we have hum enough humility to recognize we are not a superior race. All humans are humans. Your your way of thinking and your logic is flawed, and you don't have enough humility to acknowledge and recognize that. So because of that, we're going to have a civil war. Right, that, that's an example of like epistemic humility at play as well. Um, basically, basically recognizing your flaws or the flaws of others as, as far as intellectual uh, discovery, intellectual claims, conclusions. Uh, it's actually a very important tool that is utilized in basically every field of uh, intellectual field of discipline that you can think of, from from science to philosophy yeah. to anime to power scanning, whatever. There's always epistemic humility. That exists or should exist if you lack that you're only limiting yourself which we see examples of that um guys like this is related to what ken i know ken the base is one guy named kent hovid that guy lacks epistemic humility he's not willing to acknowledge the flaw in his logic there's a reason why no uh, scientist and or creationist ever took that old man seriously it was because he lacks the humility to acknowledge that he's flawed all right there's guys like that that exist Guys that are extremely like fundamentalist, uh, religious advocates, like guys that are Bible thumpers, they think that's their way or the highway. That's a lack of humility as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's an interesting uh, term, and it's important to 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 kind of uh, adopt as well. So it's a good right. question, though. Good question. Um, but yeah, philosophy. That's a, more of a philosophy question. Um, but yeah, that's a good question. If you guys want to ask more like that, feel free. By the way. Obviously, we got, we talk about it a lot. I mean, we have. So. Oh, AJ, have you, did you? I don't know if you talked about it because that's been kind of trending as well. But did you talk about the Russell Brand shit yet, or no? <laughs> oh shit, no, I haven't. So this, let's talk about that. Russell Brand is being like obviously targeted. Yeah. By uh, you know, individuals for allegations that are sexual in nature. Seems very similar to Tate's situation. Um, seems nothing is coming of it. I doubt there's evidence. Again, innocent until proven guilty. Didn't even go to the police, bro. Yeah, they didn't even go to the police. It's more of like a, a smear campaign, if anything. It's just been uh, uh, it's just been journalists and all this other bullshit that have been like doing shit and whatnot, and like nobody's pressed charges. Like the victims, they haven't bullshit. done it. Yeah. Uh, the, no, the states haven't been prosecuted or pressed any charges yet. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I would say that innocent is proven guilty. Obviously, if there's evidence, we'll condemn him for what he is. But there's nothing, so it just seems like uh, they're chasing, you know ghosts that's all they're doing with these, these these journalists these individuals you know throwing these allegations around it's just sad to see that you know an individual's career can be tarnished by lies instantaneously you know? not lies, from 20 years ago yeah. too. <laughs> exactly now if they're not lies of course he deserves to be destroyed yeah. but if they are it's disgusting like what the hell is like, that i'll you say know, this too preposterous. i'll say this too like what is becoming interesting of it because it does become controversial and ex extremely contentious in certain aspects um, yeah, and the reason why, because there was a couple questions that um, that um, like I watched a recent video and I did a reaction to, it and I'll eventually uh, release it because a very very yeah. um contentious uh video because like they because Pierce is giving valid uh, arguments and playing devil's advocate in the sense of morality and or transparency, um, and then certain individuals saying their shit too. But either way, what happens is it kind of boils down to one simple thing: like whenever there's a situation, should we prioritize um the accusers? Or should we prioritize the victims? Um, and yeah. it basically also what was asked is, uh, should victims always automatically be believed as well? That was another question. Oh my god! There. Yeah. Um, and it exactly. was just it was just chaos. Like it yeah. was just that's like, a chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was so that's much arguments, question. bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a chaotic question because by far the most logical conclusion when in a court of law is to assume innocent or proven guilty because if it's the antithesis of that. The, most prosecutors will win their cases to yep. prove that you're innocent. That's that's much more difficult than proving you're guilty. Um, 
that's why the most logical conclusion is to assume innocent or proven guilty. Like, for example, if the defendant, uh, said, like the pr prosecutor, excuse me, has no evidence but says, oh, he's guilty, now I have to prove against it. Well, there's no evidence for either or. So what the hell is the, the defendant supposed to do? There's no way to win. Like, that's absolutely preposterous. There's no... There's no empirical evidence to substantiate this individual being guilty, yeah. yet you're automatically assuming he's guilty. That's absurd. Like that's not. Yeah, that's I, don't, I don't agree yeah, with that it was, either. Yeah. And, the, and a good other good way to d d think about it too is like, how would you feel if it was you? How would you feel if it exactly. was your family, uh, or your friend? What we, sh your we should just automatically believe they're this now, whatever they're being claimed to be. Uh, it's kind of fucked, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, because fairness fairness will never exist optimally or perfectly, but you have to maximize it. The most the fairest way. Is the right to a speedy trial, the right to be innocent to proven guilty, the right to an attorney, right? The the fucking constitutional rights that you are given, at least yeah. in the United States. I think that's the fairest way to approach it. Rules that favor the defendant, like entrapment, uh, things like that, that, that make sure that you can't just bait a guy into doing a crime, even though that one's debatable. Like, if you're a pedo, you're a pedo. I don't yeah. think that entrapment should fucking matter, like EDP, nope. for example. But I, I would say that there should be, like, tools that the guy that's being accused should have just it's just only fair yeah like if he's guilty he's guilty but it's not fair to just oh yeah he's guilty one thing like there's and one no and what's really sad of it is it's just an insane domino effect like he's losing everything now like Absolutely his management yeah. you know organizations brands all all, all of this is going bye bye youtube already demonetized like all this yep. shit and for all we know he could be innocent yeah everybody's just dog in his ass <laughs> yeah it's absolutely it's just extremely unfair like i get it the shock value of hearing that like oh my god he's yeah. a piece of shit and like but there's no evidence for it sounds yeah. awful of course it does but there's no evidence why am i going to just condemn the guy or crucify him yeah you know, it, exactly. it's not even the incarceration like the cancel culture it's not even the incarceration part it's the social stigma crucifixion crucifixion that takes place like they pick and choose condemned, they pick and choose man. yeah it, it, if you're condemned for that, it doesn't matter whether you're incarcerated or not. Your life's over. Like, your career's over. All that shit's over. And even if there's no proof, if it's a convincing enough sort of individual trying to incriminate you, then yeah. you're fucked. It's just not, it's not fair at all. It's really not. Yeah, it's, know, so. it's absolutely crazy. And then, like, what was also really interesting is um, is they brought up another, um, you know, question of it. Uh, this is an interesting uh, question they asked to where, whether if, um like who should have power um either journalism you know and all that and like the the press and whatnot or only uh like the law enforcement you know what i mean like lawyers police you name it yeah. like who whose power is more credible and more important that was an interesting thing they brought up as well um because i feel like they can be contentious in a way where basically in simple terms journalism they can have their moments they can i do think they can be just as transparent and you know and yeah, yeah. and and super poor and they could be able to accomplish things that not even our system was able to do or fail to there's actually examples that exist out there um but if we analyze it as a whole though like statistically wise and you name it and who actually is more than likely going to be more credible etc i would definitely give that to the law enforcement side of things um they're just yeah, going to have exactly. more resources they literally that's literally what they professionalize with to begin with you know um and then while unfortunately nowadays with journalists or whatever in the press they mainly clear, care about the the value they can get out of it, not really the transparency in, in accomplishing justice. They only mainly care for what they can get out of it. You know, the clout, the status, exactly. et cetera, the yeah. money. Yeah. And they're not doing it to actually figure out who, you know, if they're really a bad person. They, they just want the, you know, yeah. all that fucking shit. So when it comes exactly. down to it, like if we're comparing it in a certain regard, I would say law enforcement. But it's still interesting because, once again, there is certain points where you could definitely be in the corner for the press or journalists, you know, and shit. Yeah, you know? even logically, when you think about it, you yeah. think about the incentives, incentivization that each side has, journalism and, and law enforcement. Yeah. Law enforcement are just faceless names that work for an agency. Journalists are all over the place in the world yeah. of social media and internet. <laughs> they, like someone like, uh, I don't know, fucking Piers Morgan or some shit, when he had Tate on, he yeah. was trying to appease to the audience that despised him. And the first time that he interviewed Andrew Tate, some detective in fucking New York that like no one knows who the fuck he is. You think he's trying to get clout? He won't get any clout. He's just trying to do his fucking job. There's more of a chance, right? There's a theoretical possibility that he is being biased, but there's more of a chance that he's not because there's no incentivization to lying or being biased or 
rather than just doing his job, right? Yeah. Rather than just doing a job, there, there is the incentive of like, oh, maybe I'll get a promotion if I uh, prove that this guy's a fucking pedo exactly, or something. Exactly. Maybe yeah. there is that. There is that. But on the balance of probabilities, journalists have way more to gain in yeah. being biased. Way more. In being, to, to, uh, to be distrustful. Being dishonest. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. While in law enforcement, Certainly you can been, literally yeah. lose your career. You can go to jail over this shit. Like, exactly. you name it the whole nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's way yeah, more to so, lose. Way more like, you law know, enforcement this definitely, you know. Yeah, they're definitely more credible. But, of course, there's always corruption. I mean, yeah, and, and, that, and that's where that's where people need to understand. There's corruption everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So what the most exactly. important thing is is what we need to understand and figure out who has more corruption, who has been more competent exactly. and transparent. Yeah. And unfortunately, I guarantee it, if you were to do your homework, look up statistic wise, you name it, you can definitely give that to law enforcement. And, and we just have yeah. examples like, bro, you guys, you can go on Google right now and look up look at all these fucking articles, whatever, by all these, you know, journalists, press or whatever you name it, and nine out of ten times that it's directly debunkable or already like disproven whatever and they're just saying all this nonsense like just blatant bullshit nonsense about something you know what i mean and then when you actually do your homework or look a youtube video about it or actually you know look at the science whatever blah blah it's blatantly disproven you know what i mean and the fact that that, that's being more consistent compared to the the actual good eggs out there of journalists that are actually doing it for the right reasons whatever and actually correct and competent that's basically where i'm getting at you know what i mean but once again yeah. nothing's perfect either our, our system and you, you name it yeah. like there's plenty of times where they fuck up plenty of like look at casey anthony you know what i mean there's just so many examples that like, you can go on and fucking on yeah, and on, yeah. you know um so exactly. like that like at the end of the day nothing's fucking perfect you know what i mean and like you, there, perfect, there's yeah. even laws and rules where if a certain amount of time goes by even if you admit you are word someone, you know, or did some crazy ass thing, you're still protected due to that law and rule. Like, so no matter what, exactly. nothing is yeah. morally perfect. Nothing, nothing is moral yeah. is perfectly transparent or whatever. Unfortunately, corruption will exist. Favoritism will exist. And sometimes people just fuck up. There's that too. Incompetence, yeah. you know? So exactly. There, there, there's, there's an attempt to like, to try to like, Target and triangulate perfect balance, but there never will be balance no. in any system. So look look at fucking Biden's stuff. son, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker don't get yeah, no I'm, discipline. Just gets a slap yeah. on the wrist for everything. <laughs> yeah, that's extreme. Doesn't get canceled. Corruption. Doesn't lose his YouTube. This, that, no, nothing, nothing, bro. Nothing. nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, let's see. When DBD was airing on Cartoon Network, they replaced Hell with Home for Infinite Losers. Censorship was crazy. Facts, dude. Imagine if Super Dragon Ball uh, had seven wishes with no drawbacks instead of only one. Oh my god. I mean, that'd be insane. That'd be overkill, honestly. Uh, have you read the final chapter of Attack on Titan? Do you believe Aaron was right? So if you mean, uh, I've seen the whole anime. I'm not sure if it's caught up with the manga, but if you mean the, as far as the rumble, I would say Aaron, he was hardened and calloused by war, all the death he saw. Very similar to Madara. Um, his ideology is very similar, um, except obviously Aaron doesn't have the ability to Tsukiyomi's that motherfucker changed, bro. Just by looking yeah, at he, his face, bro, that motherfucker was done. Yeah, <laughs> it, his solution to ending like this fucking horrible suffering that he's witnessed and felt is genocide. Um, that's why, oh, he like, had like Rumble. Nagato in a way, huh? <laughs> yeah, his, his was just genocide and just eliminating the possibility of more suffering. Like that's what seems to be what's going through his mind. He becomes more cold, more cold-hearted towards even the people that care about him, like. Uh, Mikasa and um, I think Aaron was his name, Herman or some shit like that. This is crazy. Name, like, when you see him as a kid, he's yeah. li- literally like Naruto all the time. Like he's hopeful and trying and Extremely. not giving yeah. up and you know being you know all that shit. You know, <laughs> he's literally Naruto at the beginning and by the end of it, he's Maru. Literally, literally, that's what happened. He literally had this more metamorphosis and this epiphany. The more shit that happened to him, the more death he saw. The more you found out about the truth, and it's realistic in a way too, Jay. Look at us humans. Yeah. You know that's very relatable. Look at, uh, look people at have war their veterans. breaking points. You know. Yeah. Look at war veterans. PTSD. Fucking. Like it's, it's basically what happened to Aaron. He he experienced such travesties and sort of catastrophes that it it shaped it reshaped his mentality. It reshaped his very ideology. Now, do I think he was right? No. I don't think genocide is the answer. No. I think that's a way. I think it's a way Even out. Even if you have good that's intentions way, like, or whatever, or, you know, it's just not, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and obviously if it's like some Hitler shit, then that's, there's no excuse at all. You know what I mean? But, oh, yeah, no, that's but, but yeah. yeah, it's just never, it's never the way, man. You know? Yeah. I think it's a way out of anything. It's not yeah. a solution. Um, I think when you're able, my, my philosophy is that if you're able to 
allow as much free will as possible and, and still find a solution that's the best optimal choice to me that's that that outputs the highest net morale net good morality which is can't it's, it's that form of a uh, philosophy is called catanism um, that was the I battle between captain with. america and iron man bro it was literally that yeah. exact dilemma and captain america exactly. cared more for what you're saying right now while iron man was like yeah. no nah, fuck that we just need to make all these rules laws and take away free will and blah blah yada yada you know exactly so i think aaron was wrong and i think he was just finding a key hit like this breaking point of fuck it there's no way let's just kill everybody and i think that's what he reached um i disagree i think that's he kind of gave up honestly so yeah that's what i would say it was literally what nagato um, was trying to do bro my motherfucker was gonna do yeah, genocide basically. and just force everybody to get along you know exactly uh each key versus final form freezer from the namek saga uh at that point Frieza's pretty powerful. He's in his final yeah, I think form. Frieza still wins, yeah. Probably Frieza. Yeah, probably Because, like, it should be really that. strong, but it's the problem is, like, those level of characters in Dragon Ball Z, they just have blatant feats of how crazy strong they are. While Shiki, yeah, it's probably. all, like, you know, possibility shit and skeptical, yeah, the, you know, crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's fatigued, Ishiki, more than likely Frieza. If it's full power, maybe, but I still lean towards Frieza. Yeah. Um, yeah. What if you could Aizen definitely argue a... for him, though. You know? Yeah, you could definitely argue for Yusuke, yeah. What if Aizen was a lawyer? Oh, shit. He'd be a damn good one. He's a genius. <laughs> uh, what if Light Yagami was a lawyer? It's another one. It'd be very hard to be in court. I think Aizen would be the best, though. Yeah, Aizen would be extremely cunning, extremely witty, hard to beat in an argument. That, mother um, that motherfucker would be pulling Casey Anthony shit on a daily basis. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. Being a lawyer is essentially being a professional debater. As far Literally. as it comes to it, moral it, issues, it's basically what you are. They don't give a yeah, fuck about like the transparency of shit too. Like it, they don't know damn well you're if you're a bad person or not, and they're still just gonna get the oh, bag yeah. and and win that shit. You know what I mean? Because they don't give a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> they want the reputation and the just, money. Like yeah, like hotshot lawyers like OJ Simpson. He didn't give a fuck. He knew nope. damn well OJ was fucking guilty. No, nope. like, I, I want the, I want the bag. So <laughs> he uh, was so convincing as a debate as a debater basically that he won. He he let OJ didn't get convicted for murder. Cold blooded, <laughs> you know. So that's crazy. He's a crazy good debater when it was pretty fucking obvious. So um, that's that's a feat. You want to talk about? It just goes to show how bad the other lawyer is, bro. Like you got the yeah, W stance and you still lose. <laughs> yeah, that prosecutor must have been ass, or or, or fucking Rob must have just been that good of a fucking that lawyer. That guy, Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, he's that guy. Uh, how strong do you think Swiper the Fox with Doris backpack is from Dora the Explorer? <laughs> Holy shit, bro! Omnipotent. Omnipotent. Uh, He's able to, uh, he has his powers of swiping, plus the yeah. backpack's ability to use omnipotence to triangulate, you know, areas, locations. Um, so he'd be the perfect swiper because he can go anywhere he wants, <laughs> triangulate where he wants to swipe shit. It's omnipotent. So, well, like, now nah, let's be real. I don't think he's fucking with the ramen guy. You know, he, that motherfucker okay, no, no, built no, no, different, no. but <laughs> that guy's built different. Yeah, he's not swiping shit from him. Yeah, I mean, he's not know, taking Nagato, the ramen. <laughs> yeah, no. If Momo couldn't blow up his fucking shop, you think Swiper will? Nah, <laughs> nah. He's getting fucked up. Um, let's see. How would the series change if Obito decided to kill Kakashi after he slaughtered the Mist Ninja? Oh shit, that would be fucking. That would greatly change things. Um, that would uh, yeah, that'd be Kakashi, very. Uh, yeah. Madara would have to improvise. Like he would have to. Yeah, right, Madara Kakashi, actually might have to kill Kakashi or something before yeah, he if, runs his if, mouth. You know. Yeah, that that would change things greatly, actually. Probably for, for the worst. Because because uh, Madara um, asked Obito like, "Did anyone see you, whatever?" And, and Obito's like, "Nope, nobody saw me." And then like fucking Kakashi woke up and he was just screaming, "Where's the enemy? Where's the enemy?" Um. So like, yeah. if Kakashi did see him, and and let's say like Obito still runs or whatever. You know what I mean? And then Madara is like, oh, they didn't want to see it. And then nobody was like, yeah. I think Madara would probably do like tell either Zetsu or somebody to kill his bitch ass so he can't say nothing. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this or nobody would believe Kakashi. They probably think he's crazy. Because let's be real, yeah. he went through so much trauma, you know, and shit, and you name it, where Minato and, all, and even Hiruzen are like trying to help him to the best of their ability. You know, like if anything, they probably just think he's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, this reminds me a lot of what happened to Vic Mag Magnona. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, no matter what, Dave, um, I'll say this to this day: I will never understand why Obito didn't take his eye, though. 
from Kakashi. Oh, yeah, that that, that, that. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. Yeah, that just has to be a convenient plot device. Literally, yeah, because honestly. if that motherfucker had both done, GG, everybody no done. One's, no <laughs> one's touching him. Yeah, no <laughs> one's touching him. <laughs> mm, let's see. I wish I was an Atsuki instead of a human being, because I think nothing would do matter. But if I had the power, I could change the world. Power always change. Yeah, the best way to change things is power. I mean, in yep. the real world, fictional-based reality, power is the common theme to get your way. So, yeah. like in a like now, obviously, moral or philosophy-wise, not more than likely might not be the case, and you might cause you know certain problems in different areas. But, but if you're talking yeah. like logically into like get what the fuck you want, absolutely, power all day. That's yeah. what changes shit, no matter what. You know. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't matter about um, negotiation, politics, not a like. If you're just that guy yeah. and that strong. They have to listen to you or you're dead. Exactly. Throughout human history, power has changed. But look at when we dropped a nuclear the... bomb. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they, from, they conceded immediately. Yeah. They didn't want to fuck with from, us anymore. Exactly. From, you know, the, the Chinese dynasties to the Roman Empire yep. to the Greeks to more modern countries like the UK back in the day, you know, Great Britain to the US modern day. Power speaks volumes. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's bro, a deterrent. Mara says it himself, bro. <laughs> yeah, power is it? Yeah, exactly. Vegeta power is the will to make things evolve. happen. <laughs> exactly. So power, yeah, it, it, it will always be a very valuable thing. Um, Kakuzu versus full power, Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> um, Martin Luther King is uh, he transcends cities, he transcends nations, and Kakuzu at best. Well, it depends on your uh, how you. How, Highball is on button, so he'd beat Martin Luther King. But if you lowball him, he's uh, below Naruto and Kakashi, so Martin Luther King would beat him. You'd get riots, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Man took Vic a bullet, McDonough. bro, and changed changed history itself in time. Yeah, know? facts. He literally changed history as a reality manipulator. So, uh, Vic <laughs> McNona is Broly English VA. Oh, I see. Broly's English VA. Gotcha. That's that's a. Interesting person to target. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really weird. It's very random. Um, but yeah, folks, any questions you may have at all? It could be philosophy, like someone like Kedrick just asked a great question. Anime, uh, oh, UFC. That was another thing I forgot anime. to mention to you, Jay. Um, going back to Russell Brandt, um, one of them brought up an argument of like the of a statistic of where only one percent of R word cases are actually like you know like solved or like or like not solved or like convicted through, like meaning like. Oh, like shit. legit because you know that's basically this i don't know i guess that's for some reason this is how it goes um yeah and so the person opposing victims and favoring the accusers or the people that are accused right um what's it called they argued with that statistic basically saying well that just further proves that clearly you know what i mean there's not our cases and that victims are lying and blah blah and all this shit yada 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 right, right. um but yeah. the other person said opposing to that argument because that pierce decided to play devil's advocate and he was uh -huh. like, he's like, well, um, well, you could also argue with the fact that that just goes to show that the system's not capable of solving and that, you know, maybe corruption or with the fact that, um, you know, that basically like women, if there's only like if it's only one percent of cases where the people are actually convicted of our word, then that just would go to show and give them more incentivized to just not do anything at all. And to use different right. aspects yeah. to obtain justice, whether if it's you know through the press, journalism, or just blatant vigilantism, you know. So it was yeah. it was a really interesting thing to be brought upon, uh, that's, and I thought it was you know yeah it was interesting. That's an interesting actually like discussion, yeah. Because yeah. if that's true, that sounds problematic for sure. One percent is extremely low. That's crazy. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's that's absurdly low. Now I would say logically. It, it's hard to prove it like empirically with physical evidence i think there's like a statistic that says the first 24 or 48 hours is crucial to prove that you were a victim of that yeah um, because there's actual physical evidence like they do r kits r yeah. word kits things like that um which i'm sure most girls either don't want to or don't think of coming forward earlier yep yeah. um so there's that that probably limits the, t the statistical chance of convicting someone yeah, that's the problem a lot of women of that, they don't do that process or even go to the police to report it exactly yeah on top of that yeah a lot of people don't go to report it and then there's like this the fear um that a lot of female i'm not a female i'll never understand but i've like talked to girls that had that horrible situation like yeah i just had fear of having to face the the person i was like well that makes sense so there's probably a lot of that going on um yeah that, it sounds problematic that it's that low 
but um, yeah, yeah it, it's that's really low. Like one yeah. percent is. It, it was. It was. Low. That was crazy to me. Like I was like, wait a fucking minute. You know what I mean, and and yeah. I, and but, I'll be honest. Like unless I look into myself, then I can fully confirm that. But it's like at the end of the day, we're talking about Pierce Morgan. You know what I mean, like you really think yeah, he's Pierce gonna Morgan and be fucking lying through his ass like that. You know. Yeah, um, he, he's pretty. He's fairly object. Like fairly objective. He's yeah. not. Sometimes he can. The only, the only the time he bullshitted was with Tate. That that time yeah, he was, that was blatantly, and he even admitted it. He eventually even admitted it, and he re, he was like saying how you know, um, whatnot. Like he did um concede to that because he eventually like interviews that one chick called Pearl or whatever. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Pearl, and yeah. he even interviews a bunch of other per- people that was connected to that, and he does own up to it that he was being biased and you know going a certain way and, and yada yada but yeah either way based, but for the yeah, most he's part based. he's blatantly objective or unbiased you know what i mean yeah he's um, he's, he's fairly he's pretty based person yeah, yeah. he usually isn't like that so. yeah he's, he's very consistent with it um but yeah now there was that and then another thing they brought upon because i just remembered was they they asked the question should the victims have the right to remain anonymous and obviously shit went haywire and there was tons of arguments oh, on either side whether of why it is a good thing or why it's not you know, and I thought it was interesting. At the end of the day, if I had to choose, like, between it, like, I would yeah. say I do think it, it needs to be at least allowed because there is certain situations or points where it is needed. You know what I mean? Um, you know, yeah. I mean? and then, like, no matter what, like, you know, like, it, it just, it, it, it is circumstantial. I'll say that. But at the same time, it is needed because whether it's to protect somebody, you know what I mean? Let's say, you know what I mean? Like, to protect the person so they're not being targeted, whatever, et cetera. Like, there's certain points where it just makes absolute logical sense for their person to have the right to remain anonymous, you know? Yeah, uh, but, yeah. but the unfortunate side of that, the con, which some other people were kind of bring it up or whatever, is, you know, any type of power can be abused, obviously. You know what I mean? Because then yeah. the problem with that is if people have the right to remain anonymous and, you know, and not be known from the public or whatever, you know, and let's say a celebrity or an athlete or whatever is being, you know, put in a Russell Brand situation, that motherfucker's fucked, right? Because he's known in the yeah, public, whatever, he's he's done. While these people that are anonymous, all these people that are either, let's say they're joining the bandwagon, you know what I mean, and they're just blatant bullshit and all this crap, like, you see where I'm getting at? Now there's no equity, there's no accountability for the, for the people that are anonymous, you know what I mean? Because that's also another problem, too, that they eventually brought upon. It was between the fact of, should someone be allowed to be anonymous or not when making, you know, an investigation or report of what's going on, and two... Okay, should there be accountability for the people that are blatantly lying and being dishonest? Because there's never accountability either. There's no yeah, justice never, most nothing. of the time, yeah, no. Nah. You know, so yeah. it was interesting stuff though. That, that's like that's a slippery slope for sure. Because yeah. oh shit, wait, two bucks from Kedrick. Appreciate that. Nice. You said, uh, who would you want to see in DB in the end before it ends? Oh, so if it was like the final scene. Um, I don't want to see the Z fighters have one more last big. Yep. Uh, you know, event. Maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe all the Z fighters fucking fight um, Frieza for one last time, take him out for good, or some crazy shit like that. It ought to be like a one hell of a scene, like a war type scene, like in Naruto or some shit like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that to be something crazy good. I definitely would want to see Goku in the final scenes, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, um, at least those guys. Um, and then maybe Frieza or some big bad wolf. Um. Something like that would be a good send off, let's say. There you go. Yeah. Um, let's see. Have you ever played Prototype or Infamous or Infamous? Excuse me. Uh, no, I haven't. I've heard of those games though. Uh, let's see. Which parasitic life form is stronger and more dangerous? Uh, in both your opinions, the Flood from Halo or Necromorphs from Dead Space? I really haven't played Dead Space like that. I played Halo when I was a kid. Um. Um, what I, I was, will say, I've played Dead Space, but unfortunately, I don't know the full knowledge even between the two either, but I know them, like, basically wise. Um, yeah. What I will say, for the most part, I do. I think uh, the Flood would be more dangerous, yeah. and the main reason why is because when we see them in Halo, but they go kind of, like, from dominating, you know, galaxies, you, you name it, and being a threat to the universe, to where the Dead Space creatures were only, like, a threat in a certain, like, uh, sector in the solar system. Like, they weren't like yeah. super fucking intelligent or you know becoming like a, a, basically a universal threat at a certain point you know so I, i'd say halo just has yeah. greater feats but they both have the potential to be just as dangerous but um that, yeah that's what I, I would say on it like i don't know anything but i would say the flood but yeah again I... yeah they're, um, they're similar to the flood to where they're kind of like parasites in a way and they can control people or whatever you name it but 
Um, but they they have more limitations. While the flood, they're like Satan in like Satan in oh, I can't fucking speak. They're literally like alien beings that have like a certain form of intelligence and the, and they strategize, which is what makes them such yeah. a fucking threat. You know exactly. Yeah, I hate reality in the world. I'm starting to think nothing. I'm starting to think nothing I will do will matter. My nihilistic. No, you'd be a pessimist. Nihilists don't care one way or the other. They don't yeah. hate reality. They don't. They don't care about it. Um. So yeah, not pessimists would be like, oh fuck this shit. You know, oh, fuck the world. Yep. I hate all this bullshit. The nihilists are like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a damn if I die tomorrow, or I don't give a damn about nothing. That's a that's a nihilist. Um, that see. was Gara, basically. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, Gara, Gara was a fucking nihilist. Yeah, he was like a psychopathic nihilist. <laughs> uh, literally. Um, and then Neji would be like a pessimist, or part yeah. one, I should say. He was like, yep. oh, fucking fate, fuck this Naruto shit. Naruto was obviously yeah. optimist. Yeah, exactly. Um, I wish I had the death note, then I would kill the scum who are taking away freedoms and those who are making the world miserable. It'd be a good tool, but in the wrong hands, it'd be a fucking hell, yep. obviously. Like, Light Yagami, wrong hands. If it was in his dad's hands, who was the uh, captain of the Japanese police department, or some city there, he'd be a hell of a death note user. He'd literally just kill scum and that's it. Yep. But Light was the wrong person, so. Um, what was the worst Anzo, uh, what was the worst Anzo thing you could beat Sasuke and I'll or Osmo think he could be Kisama and Itachi. They're both pretty bad. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'd say Osmo, bro. That motherfucker yeah, was Asuma better. Was like, <laughs> yeah, Asuma, like, fucking. He talked more shit, too. Donjo was like, oh, I'm going to beat. He wasn't, like, as. like. He was very barking. humble. He was very quiet for the yeah. most part. And then and he yeah, was just exactly. kind of explaining, like, why Itachi did what he did, like, to get over it, basically. Um, yeah, Asuma. You know. Yeah, Asuma got bitched worse, honestly. Yeah. Uh, the world is full of criminals. Would anyone bat an eyelid if they and those evil in the government dropped dead? I mean, I don't think so. Most people uh, don't really have that much sympathy for the deaths of you know legitimate criminals, like mm -mm. the bad ones. Like no. Ted Bundy, no one gave a fuck. No one gave a fuck when he died. So <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, one, no one should. You know, that's the one thing about Ted that I heard he was scared of. He was scared of the chair. So I'm glad like he got what he deserved. But that was the only thing I think he was scared of. He was scared of the death penalty. And they gave it to him. I mean, obviously, it's a piece of fucking shit. Bro, so like, guys, it. think of it this yeah. way. In prisons, yeah. like, where you have, like, the worst of the worst with the murder, whatever the fuck it is, right? But they're all prisoners and shit. Yeah. When, if they hear that you're, like, a child molester or fucking, you know, or, like, you've done things to kids or even heard that yeah, you're, you're a serial killer, like, in a certain regard, yeah. you're fucked. Even they would yeah, don't put up with that shit. They'll just kill you, bro. Yeah, no. Like, like the drug dealers and shit, they're gonna so fucking like, shank you. If shit. you're a severe, like extreme, insane killer, like you're doing some fucked up shit or anything to kids, like even the bad people, like don't even like sit, don't even fuck with that shit. And they're like, you're done. So like, yeah, nah. if they don't yeah. care, you think we're gonna give a fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, we don't. We don't give a damn about those people. Like Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, fucking yeah, that clown killer. John Wayne uh, yeah, the John Wayne Gacy. Um, yeah, those guys, you're fucked. <laughs> they better put you somewhere or kill you because you're going <laughs> to die regardless. Uh, you're dead, man. You're going to be a target. Um, yeah, you're a fucking target and you deserve to be. So. Or any of the family of, uh, that are the victims that lost love, you, what do you think they're going to fucking do? Just sit there, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. they probably Most of the time, they probably don't allow those guys in the corner nope. fucking shoot them or some shit. Because um, nine out of times when they do that, it, whenever they yeah, have done that, this shit happens, you know? Yeah, there was like a video... It was old as shit where this guy was walking by like one of the victim's family members and he fucking shot him. It was yep. like, holy shit. Uh, I was like, well, he deserved it. Motherfucker like, killed his fucking you know, family member. So. Yep. And then get away with no it. It's the him. worst when they get away with it too and they're thinking they're walking scot-free and, and the guy's like, nope, fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Top five villains that you think were right. Madara, well, arguably right. I'm not going to say for sure, but Madara, um, villains. Who else? Kawaki, you could argue. I mean, he's kind of a villain now, yeah. in a way. Um, other animes, though, I mean, they're all pretty just simply evil. Like S Cell, Sakuna's Frieza, just fucking ass. Sakuna, Sakuna's goaded, is he right? I mean, he just cares yeah. about whipping ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's a cool character, but all he cares about is whipping ass and being the goat. Yeah. Um, yeah that's all he cares about. Uh, maybe Dr. Jiro, because he wanted to, like, clean up the world with androids. Uh, he wasn't right, but he arguably could have been. Now I'm thinking about it, Jay, because uh, I'm not, like, really that far in JJK. 
Was there ever an answer of how Sukuna was ever even fucking sealed in a way or de- dealt with? Because, like, how the fuck did that uh, man even end up from being 20 fingers to no fingers? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think that... I don't remember if that was explained. It would have been really, really early on. Um, like, to be the yeah, strongest that, of to ever exist and you somehow get dealt with and you're fucking everywhere in the right. world? <laughs> it definitely couldn't have been by force. Someone must, it, was, it must have been, like, a pretty strong team. Off guard like, or, or a strong like, team? Kind of like Bilgeo. Yeah. Like Gojo was kind of tricked into being sealed, so it must have it had to have been like that way. There's no mm-hmm. way they could have beaten him down and sealed. That's him. what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> like he's the strongest sorcerer of all time. Literally, that's what they said. Mm-hmm. So that's what it's stated. So there's no way you're gonna beat the guy. Um, but yeah, uh, from what I know, the flood can infect dead beings. So as long as the flood still have a numerous, uh, still have a nervous system intact and manage to turn AI against their creators before the flood is insane. Yeah, I haven't played Halo in so long though. Uh, Five characters that are not main characters, but they steal the show is if more than the MC. Gojo, Itachi, Vegeta, yeah, um, Rock Lee, even Pain uh, in a Mikasa, way, you know, Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Oh yeah, yeah Levi, yeah, he ain't even in the main character, bro. <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah. One of the coldest, one of the coldest moments I've ever seen in anime history is when, um, you know, the uh, the troopers that were fighting the Titans all die. The commander in chief dies. Well, not the chief, but the commander dies, like yep. running towards the Titans. And Levi slaughters and solos about thirty titans, and almost slaughters the beast titan, all by himself. Man, he's just built and different. Like one, <laughs> yeah, he's built different. And he would have killed them if that one fucking small titan didn't save, uh, like the host, like the actual guy inside the beast titan. Yeah. So I was like, holy shit! He almost soloed the whole war like by himself. They, they should have just let him go. Yeah. Like not even let anybody they else. Let, yeah. <laughs> They should just let him fucking go. Like, what the fuck, bro? He did more damage than all these motherfuckers. The whole fucking army. By himself. It's like, at that fucking point, it's like, what are we man. doing, bro? Like, yeah, like why Why did you guys even run towards him? You should just let Levi do this shit. <laughs> the waste of fucking time. And it's not like he had a mental amp or anything either. Like, it's like, no, nah, he just did that shit. He's like, because that, that's, that's, that's the way Levy yeah. is. Like, he's been through so much shit. It's similar to, um, to Aaron. To where he's just he's done with it you know he's so cold yeah. he doesn't really give a fuck anymore he's just there just to kill and fuck up shit you know what i mean so it's he like, like a second yeah. yeah the ackermans have like a second gear like it's like genetically predisposed to where like when they see blood like titans they fucking go at it yeah like, no they fucking, just go and they're just built yeah. different so it's like if he yeah. could have done all that shit and they know he's about it they know what shit he's done like how fucking broken he is yet they're still gonna have yeah. their balls to run down as fodder creatures and get bitched <laughs> Yeah, they, they literally didn't get close. Like, all of them got slaughtered like, by the beast. And that's, that's like, just stupid. Rocks. That's just fucking dumb. Yeah. It's like, what we can at least say bare minimum is a lot of them were very smart. Like, the captain, he was very fucking yeah, smart. Yeah, he was smart. You yeah. know, like, we, like, like he, his intelligence was important most, to have, you know? Yeah, he, he gave one of the most goaded speeches I've ever heard. I won't, I won't lie about that. But, yeah, he led them all to suicide. He admitted literally. that. Though, that one of the soldiers asked him, like, so you're telling us to all run towards them and die together? He's yeah. like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, basically what he said. And then... Levi saw them. He's like, "Well, oh, time to go." Time that to yeah, work. that wasn't smart though. Like that, that that was the retard yeah. moment. I would have been like, if I was him, I'd be like, you know what, guys, unless it's the last resort, and we just say fuck it, let's wait for Levi, let's let him do his thing, get your popcorn, watch, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, and then we'll help what, him last minute. Say. Like if he needs help, you know, whatever, at any point in time, then we'll come in. You know what I mean? Just in case, but yeah. that's what they should have done, bro. It should have planned, yeah, because all the soldiers were pissing themselves, like we're all fucking die and then the commander's like fuck it i was like damn bro that's crazy i didn't expect the commander to die if i'm being honest with you. that shit threw me yeah off. i didn't expect that shit yeah. um when was D- when dbc was airing on cartoon network they re- I think I already read that uh let's see who was more righteous Madara or obito oh Madara. obito was just a, pe- was a pessimist slash nihilist Madara had like legitimate goals to bring peace yeah obito, obito all he cared kind of- about was just seeing ren again that was why yeah, he won like, Infinite Tsukiyomi. He literally, when he goes up to Madara, he's like, with this, you know, Infinite Tsukiyomi, whatever, will I be able to see Ren again? And Madara was like, yes. And that's why he just does yeah. it. You know? Obito, like, he's aware of the blood on his hands. Madara doesn't see blood on his hands. Rather, he sees himself as the parent that has to teach the children. Like, yeah. Obito sees himself as like, oh, man, I've gone dark. I've gone rogue. Yeah. But Madara doesn't see himself as like And a, he's heavily conflicted conflicted the whole time like he's fighting yeah, he's Madara, having an identity of crisis the entire time while Madara he just he, he you know it's that's it 
Yeah, he, he believes himself to be the righteous one. Like, the chosen one to save the world. Yeah, like, modern, he, like, he, wasn't, he, he wasn't doing it for his brothers. He wasn't doing it for any of that bullshit. Because, mind you, he wouldn't get anything from it. Like, he was doing it because he truly wanted peace in the world. Like, he truly wanted exactly, that shit. Yeah. And actually had, like, good intentions for people. And he would only kill or fuck you up if his hands were forced or he had no choice. You know? Yeah, exactly. Well, so open up, he was just doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. While also yeah. like flexing in a way, being immature about it too, and then just yeah, like and then just being constantly back and forth, and then also like intrigued in certain things that just it makes no fucking like uh, for instance one example, him sneaking up on Naruto while he's asleep, and instead of just capturing him right there and then calmly and bring him in, and take his tail beast away, the motherfucker wants to sit there and have a full fucking conversation because he doesn't understand why Pain betrayed him. Who the fuck does that, bro? Madara would never yeah. do that shit ever. <laughs> Madara is just to the, he's just to the point. Yeah, he yeah. would just come over there and be like, hey, you're coming with me and we're, we're stealing your tail beast. And then Naruto would be like, uh, no. And he'd be like, excuse me, bitch? <laughs> and slap him. Yeah, li- literally. <laughs> like, you wouldn't give a fucking choice. Like, yeah, Obito is definitely more conflicted. And then Yamato and Kakashi comes and, this, and you're telling me this motherfucker can't handle all three? Like, he's just going to run away now? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, to answer your question about how Sukuna lost his fingers, someone cut off his fingers, but that's the way it was is unknown. Yeah, it had to be off guard or some shit. Yeah, yeah off insane. guard it has to be. Yeah, uh, he's the strongest sorcerer. Kind of like time, Ishiki, I mean. you know what I mean? Like where he gets off guard yeah. by Kage. Which, by the way, I finally got to that point, saw all that shit, and so it's absolutely baffling that people actually are going to sit here and say Kaguya or Momo is stronger <laughs> than fucking Ishiki. Like that's absurd uh, to me. Blatantly stated, he's off guard, and these motherfuckers yeah. be arguing that bullshit. Extremely disingenuous. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, the only problem with Light was L. The detective got on the schoolboy's head. He broke character. They both got in each other's head. I, unironically, they both got in each other's head and they both broke character. They both miscalculated because their pride got in the way. That's why L died by Light's, you know, by Light's strategy and that's why Light died in the end. Yep. It was their own pride. If anything, if they were to stick to the plan, um, like if L would have stuck to the plan and played with Light's mind knowing that he's prideful, he, he could have arguably beaten Light or vice versa. I mean, Light did beat L technically, but he could have even maybe even won and reached his goal of uh, being the the righteous god of the new world if he just stuck to the plan. You know, they both got in each other's head and both broke character. That just shows like the the genius of the author. The ba- the main theme was the pride of the devil. Literally was for both of these guys. So yeah. Um, predictions for Tate trial. He's 100% getting convicted for fraud. He admitted to stealing from all the girls. There's like a 70% chance he gets convicted for sex trafficking. Thoughts. I don't think there's a seventy percent chance. Um, the fact that this trial has gone on for so long and there's no new, extremely incriminating evidence implies to me that he most likely will get off or will get convicted of some bullshit like tax evasion or some other bullshit like, like you said, the fraud shit. Um, but I highly doubt it's as heinous as in nature as it first was uh, sought out to be when it was like trafficking and all this other bullshit. Um, based on what we know, I mean, if there is incriminating evidence that leads to 70 percent conviction rate it would have been everywhere everywhere uh, everywhere that's it news. done yeah uh, and there's been nothing new for at least to my knowledge nothing new on the guy not not enough for vice to spread it out not enough for msnbc like all these like, all, all i've heard is, is it's all been yeah. pertaining to his website of shit or yeah something and like that's, that. circ- that's that's more like circumstantial and like it's it's arguably evidence. You can argue it as is, but there's a reason why he's not even on house arrest anymore. He's only not allowed to leave the country. So. Oh wow! So you uh, can just to go wherever. This... That's crazy. Yeah, he, he's not on house arrest anymore. Yeah, he can basically go anywhere. He can't leave hmm. yet. So. Yeah, for for it to last this long and for there to be nothing, then it's highly. And think of it this way: if they really had some fucking good ass evidence, you know what I mean? Or if they really like, it would have been done deal already. Like, or it would have been an escalator yeah. already. You know. Yeah, it's been like over a year or some shit. Actually, no, they, they got arrested in December or some shit like that. They were there to March. House arrest until like June-ish or July or some shit. And they've been uh, just stuck with, within Romania since. So I highly doubt it. Unless like there's like proof that someone brings, like literally him doing it or something. Yep. Um, I don't know. We'll see the... We'll all, see. If, all the there's... charges and allegations was of him, like what, our word, human trafficking, and that's it? Yeah. yeah, and now they only have, if I'm not mistaken, they only have like the less, like serious shit. Like, oh, he uh, was it fraud, ex- extortion, or like some other bullshit. So, bro, I don't know. It seems like he's gonna get off. But again, if there is evidence, obviously he should be. If if he did what he did, 
then he obviously deserves it. But if not, then he should get off. Simple as that. So I Meanwhile, it was fucked up though. Regardless of whatever happens, yeah. you know, I mean, he's clearly not what it was. He was originally being told about. Then what's fucked up is nothing is going to be reversed either. There's no reverse Uno yeah, card nah. or nothing. He's still going to have to deal Very with all unlikely. that bullshit that happened. That's it. Whether he likes it or not, you know. Yeah, there's always going to be like collateral damage that he'll yeah. always have to deal with. He won't get any yeah. of that back. Rest, nothing for the rest of his life. Yeah, it's just the truth. Honestly, I think Nagato and Madara was right. Yet their minds are bad. I don't know about Nagato and Madara. Yeah, but Nagato approached things the right way. Yeah, approached. Yeah. Do you read Berserk or Gantz or Vinland or? Finland saga before. Berserk is something I've uh, heard a lot about. The others I haven't, but I do want to read Berserk in time. Yeah. I heard good things about Berserk. If Light Yagami never developed Scott Complex and just killed to change the world and make it, would Light Yagami be a more sympathetic and better character? He did definitely be more sympathetic. I think he's a great character, he's just an evil one. Um, but it's a very good character. Him and L were both great. But yeah, he, he would have probably won. And, um, if he would have just stuck to killing scum, I think that the police wouldn't even have tried to capture him. Eventually, they would have gave up. They would have been like, oh, he's only killing criminals, so let him be. You know, so that's probably what would have happened. Animes where sad characters carry the show. I think we answered that earlier. Uh, but I said Vegeta, Levi, uh, Rockley. Um, who else? What other animes are there? Gojo. And probably... He was another character. Mikasa. I mean, she's a great side character as well. But more impactful than Aaron? Actually, no, scratch that. Not Mikasa. Maybe like... Uh, let's see. Vegeta. Gojo. Well, Naruto. I don't know who would be more impactful than him. But at times, there have been people that are more impactful. Tachi, Rock Lee. For example, Levi is extremely impactful more than Aaron at times as well. What about Toriko manga? Highly recommend people become stronger by eating food and exotic ingredients in making series. Never heard of it, but it sounds interesting though. Becoming stronger by eating food. But yeah, folks, any questions at all? Feel free. Any questions at all? Appreciate all the donations, by the way, from Kedrick and TG himself. Appreciate it, Thundergut. And all the great questions as well. So. Any questions at all, folks? Rockley carry part one, Itachi carry Chaputin, or you can say Sasuke if anything. Sasuke is very impactful, yeah. Very impactful. Yeah, folks, any questions at all, feel free. But yeah, I have a video coming out next week as far as the channel updates. Uh, it's going to be an IRL topic. It's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be scaling, but in IRL. Look forward to that. After that, probably another Naruto video. And after that, I'll probably start JJK. Either that, I might do the JJK video before the Naruto video. Shinobi or Batman with you right now? Batman's here, but I think he's mute. Shinobi couldn't make it. But Batman's been here. Yeah, it's just on and off. Why did Obito change his mind about Madara's plan? Obito had this in his mind. Naruto talked no jutsu to him. Maybe so pissed off. Yeah, that's why a lot of people criticize Obito, right? Because he, he wavered in his conviction so easily. That guy had a volatile mindset. Ups and downs, that guy. Madara's a guy you can't break, but Obito's breakable. So, yeah, that's, that's a knock on his character. Uh, would you rather be a vampire or a demigod? Or if I'm even close to being a god, I'd probably rather be a god. Yeah, demigod. What's the worst and best of the seven deadly sins for me? The best? Oh, I've heard of the anime. I just haven't seen it. I've seen some clips where it's heat, though. Like, just fights and stuff. I gotta check it out. Uh, the best is sloth. You're only hurting yourself. And the worst is wrath. Very interesting. Are you friends with Chidori Master? Yeah, on Discord. He's a cool dude. I know he has his own YouTube as well. To be honest, DJK was a hit or miss right through, of course. I love Gojo, but it seemed generic until I watched the movie and saw Yuta Okutsi. 
Honestly, he's just perfect. I like Yuta a lot as well. Very polarizing. Obviously very powerful. Um, but yeah, it, it's not the perfect anime. If I had to like be, give a constructive criticism, the character development is certainly lacking for a lot of characters. It can be a little generic with the, 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 the sort of comedic relief that's implemented at times. Certainly generic, I'd agree. But overall, JJK is great. Great. The power scaling system is one of the best I've ever seen. What if Obito took back his other eye? How would that change the story? I mean, he already was extremely dominant to the point where Nora could really change. Um, it's it would just be more of a slaughtering for him. He could do whatever he wants. No one would be able to touch him. The Rikage definitively probably would not be able to contend with him. And if he had both his eyes when he fought Minato, he would have beaten Minato. He would have sniped Minato with a Kamui long distance, almost guaranteed. So he would have won earlier. Wait, what a miss? Yeah. My bad. I didn't like get some food. Oh, you good. Someone said, "What if Obito had uh, his other eye? How would the story change?" He probably would have beaten Minato. Oh yeah, no, he would have beat him. Both. He would have killed him instantly. Like he could we're, snipe we're him snipe. just like you said, um, instantaneous. Because once again, it's double the speed. Um, yeah. and, or even if he did exactly what he did in character, just the flex or whatever, you know what I mean, and grab Minato, you would actually killed him right there and then because Minato barely. Got out of that barely, comic, yeah. barely, like yeah. fucking. It was just, like yeah, like and and then Obito's like, hmm, all right, he is really is as fast as ever, you know. And Minato's like, man, I barely escaped out of that jutsu. Like I, had, I was forced to use flying Raijin. So like basically, if he's struggling with one eye of speed, imagine two. He's done. He gets caught. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would have fucking sniped. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, Obito could go skin. Susano, bro. He'd have perfect Susano as well. <laughs> like, oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, there's that too. He probably would have more than likely had that too. Well, actually, my bad. I forgot. I forgot. If you only have MS, technically, at least it's never been shown that you could use Perfect Susano. Not even Madara could do Perfect Susano with the um, with two MS. Um, what's it called? You need the the AMS in order to get Perfect Susano. At least that's what's always been shown. You know what I mean? Th that you could technically yeah. say argument of ignorance, but we've any MS user with just only normal MS, they've never ever been shown to do Perfect Susano. So only like the, yeah, exactly. it's only like the humanoid uh, form, like where it's kind of tall and shit, but it's not like the yeah. actual full thing. So like he would yeah, bare he minimum would, yeah. have that, but even though that would be broken and busted because imagine that Susana with Kamui abilities and like oh, weapons God. and fire style Kamui and. <laughs> oh no, yeah, Monito's fucked. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, I mean the actual sins, not the anime. Oh, just in general, the seven deadly sins. Mm. Where are they again? They're, uh. Let me look it up. Yeah, pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. Yep. Yeah, I guess like you said, sloth would be the less uh, impactful for others. The worst probably would be wrath because you'd just be pure rage. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the worst. Um, what Which race would you rather be, a Suski or Frieza's race? Uh, They're both, like, very totalitarian, tyrannical. I'd say Frieza because uh, he has way more power progression than those. Like, the Suski have to basically cheat in order to get more stronger. Yeah, that's like, true. Frieza, planets, you just... And like fucking each <laughs> yeah. yeah, or sacrifice their partner stronger. and and get stronger too. Yeah. Probably Frieza, yeah. Frieza could just get stronger. He doesn't need to. He, yeah, he just stuff. gets super massively stronger to keep up with Goku yeah. out of all people. You know, like four months I'd be I'd be fucking golden Frieza. Like mm -hmm. Four months. So. Uh, baby Gohan versus Rei Kage. <laughs> uh, if it's the one that fucked up, uh, well, is he really a baby there? The one that fucked up Raditz. <laughs> Kage would get probably fucked up. Uh, um, both eyes would have doubled the speed he would have got Minato the first time. Yeah, facts. Uh, the top three anime hot takes. Both you guys can give your hot takes. For example, my hot take is Naruto stomps Ichigo in a fight. Hot takes. Um, all okay. right. Uh, what's some hot takes? Ishiki, uh, Ishiki more than likely beats Cell. Well, full power Ishiki more than likely beats <laughs> Cell. Um, he's beyond solar system at full power. That's another hot take. Um, uh, I haven't read One Piece, but for a hot take, Bleach is better than Mid Piece. <laughs> that might change once <laughs> that might change once I read One Piece, though. Yeah, but yeah, Bleach is better than Mid Piece. And then let's see, I'm telling you right now, Jay, I'm really not trying to be that guy, but I highly doubt it. If you even if when you read and watch all this, shit, I. I I know damn well yeah. you're still gonna like bleach in Naruto. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably, let's be honest. Um, uh, uh, another one. What's another hot take? 
fucking um let's see he saw me beats Tobirama. I mean, I don't know if I really believe that or not, but mm. I can believe it. I could argue it. Yeah. yeah. Those are probably my hot takes I could think of. Like, he saw me beats Tobirama. I know fucking Swag used to say that. Yep. I could argue it at least. I don't know if I believe it, but. Yeah, I could yeah. argue it as well. Like, th- there's good yeah. arguments for Kasami, you name it, whatever. Um, I'll say that bare minimum. But I think where the main problem relies, boils down to, is that flying Ryzen speed. To where if he throws it at the right angle and teleports, you know what I mean, and then just gets a one hit right there, GG, like a Sukuna to Gojo moment, then Kasame's fucked. But there is a possible argument where he could heal regen from, you know, Samhata, because that motherfucker yeah. heals from, like, V2, killer fucking B hit, you know, which is ridiculous. <clears throat> exactly. Um, yeah. So it's like, it's interesting. Um, if I had a bet money, I'd say... Toby Rama, like, more than likely probably takes... Because he's also more intelligent. Yeah. I'll say he's more intelligent than Kasame as well, you know? Yeah. I probably will go with Toby Rama, but I could argue yeah. for Kasame, but yeah. Same. Yeah, I, I'll say, uh, obviously, water style he would lose, so he's not going to do that. Like, the moment he does water style and Kasame does water style, you know what I mean? Like, and it just, obviously, Kasame wins that exchange, he's going to be like, okay, uh, Ninjutsu's obviously not a good option, so what will, will he do? I can't speak. What will he do? He'll just do fucking Flying Rise and Taijutsu combos. He could also do uh fucking um actually no Hashirama I think is the only one that actually knows that I was gonna say bringer of darkness but um so no oh, fuck, yeah. yeah only Hashirama technically knows that but um you could argue the possibility of him knowing it too because he's so smart but either way um bottom line is you know flying Raijin Taijutsu combo or flying Raijin ni- water ninjutsu combo like that more than likely would get the job done or if he has an Edo, like let's say he somehow has a fucking Edo, oh, yeah. and he okay, does that yeah, infinite yeah. explosion thing in combination with flying Raijin, Kasami's fucked. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Um, like Kasami's main win con it... is just like absorbing all his chakra with the water prison. Yeah, that would definitely stick, be his you know? win con. Yeah. Chakra, yeah. Uh, Obito Susano wouldn't need to be perfect and still be broken. Yeah, facts. It wouldn't even matter. Yeah. Uh, let's knock out the Uchiha, shall we? Utachi, EMS, Modern, Adult Sasuke. Uh, Obito has EMS Kamui, EMS Sishui. Holy shit, yeah, that'd be mm-hmm. broken. Frieza, uh, Frieza can survive anywhere and reach through multiple tiers of power within a couple of months. Yeah, facts, dude. Um, Yamcha versus Momo. <laughs> Fucking bitch ass Yamcha. <laughs> um, honestly, probably Momo. Yamcha's a bitch. Um, <laughs> do, you believe in, do you believe in the universal to multiversal metas of scaling? You mean, do I believe they're like usable classifications of power i mean yeah people that are universal if that's what you mean um even in nobito had just marvel and dc you got motherfuckers like that (laughs) yeah even in the comic book i mean in comic books you have guys that are i mean even omniversal and shit Mm -hmm. there but uh, broken ass shit there um let's see even if obito had just the armor susana which is the best you can do with the ms that alone would be needed to solo shippuden yeah, with double the speed, yeah. He's going to fuck up most people until the war. Uh, Jay, you're starting a war. Yeah, I, I know One Piece fans hate that shit when you call it mid-piece. <laughs> uh, there's a chance that Frieza is especially talented, and it's been stated that Frieza is a mutant, meaning that Frieza is far more talented than his race's members. I mean, uh, he's definitely an outlier prodigy, even in his own race. Uh, how strong per tower are you fusion between Aizen and Madara be? Uh, that would be quite the quite the amp. Um, it's hard to quantify, but maybe they could fuck with Kakagia, maybe. Possibly. Is, is Cooler canon or no? I think I think so. Because if he is, canon. he technically had way better um, genius prowess and progression than Frieza, though. Like that, he was yeah, actually Kula. ahead of uh, Frieza. Cooler was broken. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh, see, I think under certain conditions, Kasami would. Yeah much like Kasame really like I said like his best thing like if he goes into his fuse state you could even make the fair argument that like what's it called just for him like charging at Tobirama like if he you know if he even hits like any hits like he's just gonna start draining his chakra and Tobirama's gonna be fucked like and Tobirama doesn't want that to happen because like he needs flying Ryzen as well but the problem is if he doesn't have chakra he eventually won't be able to do that either you know so like He's, it's going to be a very conservative battle, and he's going to have to be very smart. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. He's going to have to, have to, have to be smart. Yeah, he's going to have to fight perfect. Worst, worst case scenario, it's similar to um, the Ken and Gen exchange where he literally just gets away, but he's on the verge of death. You know what I mean? 
um because yeah, he has exactly. fine rising you know but overall like no matter what like i said if i had a pick i'd say Toborama. But there is ways of Kasami potentially pulling it off. You know, I don't see. Yeah, there's ways. I don't see either or like speed blitzing with just their normal body stats. I think that's very dishonest. Um, they're yeah. both really strong and Kage level uh, people. But once again, Tobarama just starts getting them more the edge with fi- like Fine Rising is broken, dude. <laughs> it's so broken. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, fucking broken. As shit. And he and he can uh-huh. activate his jutsu. And react to people like Madara with flying Raijin. You know what I mean? So yeah. if he can do that to Madara, he can definitely be able to react to any of Kasami's attacks by teleporting with flying Raijin. You know? Yeah, the speed would at bare minimum be relative to at bare minimum. Yeah. yeah. Um, is Mr. Satan more durable than Kakuzu? He took a hit from Cell. Yeah, he is. He also got bit by Kid Buu. So yeah, he's more durable than, uh, than Kakuzu. Um, there's a very good reason why Kakashi Obito doesn't get DMS until the Kage fight. Uh, honestly, let's see. I hate Ishiki. Well, he had six very... bath chakra though. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. That's yeah, Kakashi had six bath chakra. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big difference. I hate Ishiki down players. It's very clear, demonstrated that he couldn't beat him. Yeah. Cooler is strictly a part of the movie canon. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Bro, that's what I heard. Yeah. Imagine Barry and Mo Naruto versus the entire Naruto Shippuden verse. <laughs> Oh god! Man, he'd fuck like, do you, do you think do bomb. you think they could all survive long enough for the time limit, or no? They all die. <laughs> if he had killer intent, he could just bomb the earth, right? Okay. Like a, a tail beast yeah. bomb, a barian mode tail tail beast. Yeah, that's what obliterate. <laughs> he'd have to like he could go hang out on the. Moon Imagine it's sight literally a tail beast bomb that siphons the, your life force, bro. What the fuck oh my do you god. do? <laughs> yeah, no. He's told. Small the whole war in like two seconds. Or even a massive rising on would do the job. Oh my a God. super massive like... of Barry mode rising on. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh Edo Michael Jackson versus Barry mode Naruto. Oh dude, Michael Jackson is yeah. fucking broken, man. He he was Crazy. being relative with the ramen, man. So Yeah, he tr- he transcends time. You know, his <laughs> hits transcend time. They've been around for decades, so yeah, probably at Michael Jackson. Uh um. Yeah, he's a, he's a go. Like, everybody forgets, but the ramen go. dude like taught fucking Hagoromo ha- Sage mode, bro. Like, yeah, literally, the ramen guy is the only guy that could probably scale to Michael Jackson. So, uh, Momo is a bitch and fodder. I mean, he's annoying. Yeah. Uh, like so he Momo, like he's just weird because like it's so weird. Like when he first appears, like he's he's basically being shown as like he at first was superior to Naruto. Um, but then he actually wasn't because when you like pay it further attention, like Naruto goes back and they're still like going blow for blow, whatever. And then next thing you know, like Momo like goes away and does like that bullshit ass moment where he's like going to kill everybody and force Naruto to like take the hit basically being a coward. So like he immediately beats a coward and that's the only way he like is able to deal with Naruto right there and then. But when it's fair game and Naruto's not even at full power, he just gets his ass beat by base Naruto and then yeah, gets, he gets his ass beat even up. slammed harder by KCM six path mode. Yeah, <laughs> like, he gets fucking boxed up and his ass beat real bad. He got so uh, beat up the... that he immediately conceded and said, "I need to sacrifice you. Give me your power, bro." <laughs> like, yeah, literally, he ate fucking Kinshki like the chakra. Like that man didn't even quick. get to uh, plan a karma, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Can she can just die, bro?" Like I'm sorry, you can't be immortal no more. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, let's see. But I think if Kisame succeeded in going into his fuse state and put him under water, then Light Brown would more than likely have to retreat or he'd probably lose. He'd just teleport Yeah, if he's in the water around. dome, yeah. yeah, he'd have to use Flying Rising. He, he can't to. outmaneuver. Yeah. yeah. If he doesn't do that, yeah, he's fucked. So. And, and, and if anything, at that point, like, he would more than likely have to just concede the fight because at that point, like, if you see a big ass water dome charging, excuse me, charging at you and this motherfucker's tail beast level of power, like, what do you do? You know what I mean? Like, what do you do, yeah, bro? Yeah. Like, you gotta run. It'd be hard to, <laughs> like, you would. It would be hard to fight him in that state. Yeah. He's in the shark form. It's literally hacks. Everything. It absorbs your fucking chakra yeah. if you're in. Every, if you even touch the water yeah. dome, anything. <laughs> Every second you're in there, yeah, your your chakra's being siphoned. So yeah, he you'd have to like wait until it, like dissipates or. Yeah, like like play like an you. outlasting match. Yeah, I could see that yeah. because Tobarama does have you a lot do of stamina and chakra. He is. He has a. Yeah, lot he has a scent. Yeah, he is a Senju. So. Yeah, he's a fucking bust. Like, um, even when he flexed his chakra when he was first arrived, like, it clearly indicates he's no joke with chakra and stamina. So Yeah, exactly. Uh, fun fact about One Piece, if you want to power scale the verse, basically even small islands in the planet are calc to be as big as the large co- the largest continents in our world. I've heard that about One Piece, yeah. The, the terrain is, like, like uh, everything's large. Larger than, than, like, our world. 
hmm. islands and shit. Uh, switch Naruto and Ichigo in the war. So case him to Naruto against Grimjo to try and win and save Orihima. Put Ichigo and Naruto when he has to protect the alliance and hold off Madara. Oh shit. Um, hmm. At this point in time, Ichigo's not too strong. Not like later on. Not like compared to when he fights Aizen. Yeah. I would say Casey and Tunato is probably more capable as far as tangible traits. If he could see the Shinigami and see the Iron Cars and all that. I mean, I would say he would beat Grimjow. He's so durable and tanky. He has a BG bombs. Yeah. Um, he probably wins that. I don't, I don't know if Ichigo could carry the fucking war though. Fight Modern and all that. Not that version of Ichigo. Um, if it was like Dongai Ichigo, um, maybe, but I don't know about this Ichigo. I think Naruto would have more success. Yeah. If I had to put my finger on it. If it's like Dongai Ichigo, maybe, yeah, he might be able to do something. Yeah. Um, mm. Edo Seth the Pedo versus Edo Surfbone. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm cruel, I'm cruel with Surfbone now though, but <clears throat> Seth the Pedo, yeah, fuck him. And not only that, if we even analyze technically between the two, like morality wise, technically it's still worse for Seth. Like you're talking about yeah, kids, Seth dude. Like, yeah, kids and fucking being a dickwad to his friends and a bunch of weird all shit. All that so. shit. Like he did so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, he did a bunch of shit. Uh, scammed his fans and all that shit. So uh, there are people who honestly believe that Ishiki is weaker than Three Eyed Madara. I don't know why the. Yeah, I see that shit too. I don't know why people actually MC believe that. And see Hammer, Diagonite. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, is it are they trolling? It doesn't make any sense. To me. Uh, <laughs> have to be absolutely absurd. <laughs> like, I think Daigo is. Uh, I think Daigo's bullshitting sometimes. To be honest, but hey, get the bag, man. I don't blame him. Right? Yeah. Like any fucking video he does, that motherfucker is making so much goddamn money. So it's like, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'd ever sell my dignity and do that, but I get it. I mean, hey, he's making. Yeah, no, I would never go that far either. Yeah, no, no, I would never. I would always I be, be as like, transparent oh, uh, as possible. But my guy Ben Space or some bullshit like that. Nah, man. <laughs> like, like, so what was the next thing? Like, fucking, he comes out and is like Rock Lee solos, like a part one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fucking crazy. He makes bad though. He um, does have go to videos though. He does have go to ones. I will say that. Yeah, he has. Or there's ones, ones that are pretty yeah. like you know they're they're pretty good. Maybe there be certain points that are like eh, you know, but. There's, yeah. You know, for the most part, he does have really good videos, and then there's moments where he has go to it. Like, once again, that Pain versus Cox video was hilarious. That was really good. Yeah, he's good. He, he's entertaining for sure. No. Yeah, he's really entertaining. What's the strongest version of Madara that Sarada beats? That's a good question. I mean, she was able to blitz Bora with the Chidori, and that was way before the time skip. Yeah. The plot twist time skip. Um, so... That man couldn't even react <laughs> by fucking doing yeah. his hand sign shit to relocate his fucking core. That man got bitch. Literally. Yeah, I would say at least at least EMS Madara. Uh, as crazy as that fucking sounds. Like, um, like I think you yeah, I, I definitely say EMS Madara. Um, you, yeah. you could even go as far to say uh, fucking uh, a, a, a live Renegon Madara. Um, and the yeah. reason why is because, like, once again, if he if Madara is, you got to basically argue that if Madara is like in six path territory at that point. You know I mean? Yeah, because like the you know? the the Kara inners are stated to have war potential of Naruto. Yeah, like, that's how fucking strong like, they are. So busted. Like, no, yeah, yeah, they're busted as shit. So and probably Madara at least was that Madara. he needed the ten tails to get to that point. You know? Yeah, Jubi Dara, she probably would lose to the Lambo, but yes. Besides that, like she she's probably faster than even Jubi Dara, but that's she probably loses to him though. He's in more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Limbo, yeah. and even if she lands a hit, he could just regen. You know what I mean? Like he regen. So. Yeah. If anything, she he could outlast her at least. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, most versions of Madara would get fucked. Yeah, Bad as that sounds. It sounds crazy, but it's just you know. Yeah, it's just like the truth. like Karma Borto is cracked. Like he would slam the whole Naruto verse. Like oh yeah, he'd fucking he'd when slam she fucking gets you know to that point with her Shidori, she'd be slamming everybody. Like it just yeah. like I said, it sounds nuts, but that's how it goes. You know, even Mitsuki with yeah, Sage power, mode. You know. Yeah, the power cliffing's fucking broken yeah. in fucking Boruto, So yeah. Exactly, and they did not even make Obi two ice for as long as he died. Uh, and look at what Kakashi did. Yeah, I mean the guy would be cracked with two. Yeah, uh, Naruto and Sasuke are gods, and Momo losing them is not a big deal. Losing to them is not a big deal. Yeah, at that point, I mean it's not nothing shameful, but he talked yeah, a lot no. of shit though. Uh, it's still uh, sad because like, you know they yeah. they worked for that shit. And they're not even at yeah, full power, not. while Momo is a fucking alien that's been cheating his entire fucking life. <laughs> Literally, yeah. It, it's like uh, Superman it coming to it. Earth and getting bitched by two humans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like... exactly. Um, 
Uh, where was I? I think it was right. I find it really funny that at one point someone debated Itachi versus one above all. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, at one point someone won that with Itachi basically because the one above all is only potent presence, so the Toast can blade one shots. I'm <laughs> fucking retarded. You could just delete Itachi with the blink of an eye. Literally, just thinking, that's it, uh, done. Yeah, he transcends everything. All things, so he's omnipresent. Like, like, yeah, no, like, yeah, he's just way beyond. Like, he's literally the yeah. guy for the Marvel Omniverse. Like, he created all of it, rules all of it, you name it. Um, yeah. yeah. That's basically how it goes. There's only certain individuals that can be able to stalemate his power, um, but not beat him. Like, he cannot be beaten. Yeah. He cannot yeah, really be surpassed. Him. Like, no matter what, that's it. And then, mo most importantly, the whole embodiment of the one bo uh, above all is mainly love. And, and shit and you name it and he's a very like kind like god so he doesn't even like try to be bloodlusted or kill you either like he'll just put up with your shit you know so it's like no matter what like he's just that guy like he's no joke like the presidents yeah. and the one above he's all they're literally god for their verse their omniverse for a reason yeah you know they're literally yeah they're probably they're literally god themselves yeah right. um ramen guy versus noodles <laughs> yeah, shout out to noodles too man one, the one above all is like uh, the little Xeno fucking people from Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, literally <laughs> fucking Xeno. Yeah, huh. that's good what he is. Uh, I honestly think that Suzuki should always be superior to those who aren't. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's basically what the direction they went in with the narrative. Yeah. With Ishiki, at least. Ishiki, uh, yeah, he blatantly showed that aspect of them. Yeah. Uh, of how, like, no matter uh, how hard you work, you will never just, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are worse than Christians. I can at least appreciate Christians, but one piece of fans, no. Like, Boruto yeah, needed... Um, Boruto needed alien cheating shit in order to get to that point too you know yeah exactly um as far as christians versus one piece fans yeah the bible thumper christians i mean yeah i think religion's good for structure yeah whether you, i think that the the scriptures that they have are sort of like manuals and how to live your life i don't mean like the hyper literal shit where they're like you should stone your wife if she commits uh, <laughs> adultery yeah, well, our adultery bullshit, is but. should be uh penalized with death you know <laughs> yeah like that's like that no but like uh but any of like the like, like, like the new testament's pretty good you know i mean like yeah, like, more matthews like new, to like you know love one another and yada yada all this other shit more like symbolic yeah yeah the old testament's like oh you should behead your fucking son but um it's good like structure but um yeah the bible thumping like not just christians but in general religion in general bible thumpers are they're if, not helping yeah, anybody yeah if that. it promotes good influence and good you know like things like that whatever and it's more productive than actually harmful then obviously we're all up for it right but if it's like yeah, some exactly. blatant bullshit or dumb you know shit and then eventually enabling either discrimination tendencies etc the whole nine like that's where you have a fucking problem you know like but once again just yeah. like with anything it doesn't matter if it's religion whatever the case may be anything can be abused anything can be used yeah, exactly. and misconstrued and uh, used for the wrong incentives etc you know yeah, religion in the wrong way can lead to things like the Crusades and stuff look like that. Look at fucking like, Hidon. Fuck <laughs> yeah, look at Hidon. Look at uh, fucking Charles Manson with his cult and all these weird ass people. Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. So, uh, it's fucking crazy. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, I definitely get it. Inflation is crazy right now. Get your bag. Yeah, facts. Shout out to fucking uh, Dagonite. Um, Edo Swaikage <laughs> versus Sperm Goku. What the Swaikage fuck? Swaikage is a fucking goat, man. He transcends all anime, so Swagkage. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah. Dagonite does have videos where he's spitting facts. Yeah, he does, for sure. Like Itachi versus Jiraiya. Yeah, facts, facts. Um, there's a good way to argue anime characters. Just put them in each other's role, see what they would do. Oh, yeah, yeah. that Itachi versus Jiraiya, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like, I shit, haven't seen it, funny. but I heard it was like really, really good and funny as fuck. Like, of how bad yeah. Jiraiya just gets slammed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's see. X Men versus the Akatsuki. Oh shit, bro. Uh, if it's Jean Grey with the Phoenix, yeah, yeah. If it's Jean, Jean Grey with the Phoenix Force, she's soloing the Akatsuki. Yeah. <laughs> <It's like universal. laughs> uh, Dude, fucking solo. If it's like base, um, base, all of them they I probably mean, get fucked. Yeah, yeah, they probably get fucked up. But like, but it depends on the the version too. Like, because once again, they're composite characters and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, like, some exactly. are doing outrageous feats. Some, you know, are just normal and it boils down to your abilities. Yeah, if it's like generic, like, X-Men movie versions. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, Jean Grey's fucking broken in X-Men last year. Yeah, and that too, like, yeah, the movie she's busted. She's, like, know? disintegrating. I remember she was, like, just thinking out loud and disintegrating, like, everyone around yeah, her. Yeah, she could shit. literally just think and fucking kill the whole Koski. <laughs> yeah, I'll be told I'd have to use, like, calmly himself away or, yeah. or he's dead. Um, but if it's, like, regular Jean Grey, like, X-Men 1 movie... 
I think everyone would get fucked up by the Akatsuki. Like, yeah. Itachi would... He, their light speed their is... Speed but, kill, by the yeah, way, their speed yeah. scaling would be the fucking problem, really. Itachi speed, pain speed, and Obito speed especially would be a fucking problem. So, unless it's like cracked X-Men versions, the Akatsuki win. Yeah. But if it's like cracked, like fucking Jean Grey Phoenix Force, Cyclops like, with like his potential Yeah, awaken, like full potential, yeah, yeah, where he's busted, yeah. Yeah. Like, he can fucking... His light, like his fucking laser... Cracked, he does like some crazy shit with them. Like you can like, yeah. fucking you know, kill or if it's boy, like the versions bad. that are fighting the apocalypse, who's like fucking ridiculously yeah, literally. strong, you know what I mean? Like Warm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh yeah, exactly. Uh she killed Charles Xavier. Yeah, in the last stand she was cracked, bro. Yeah, she killed Xavier. That's true. Uh Jerobo versus Casey and two Naruto. Bro. Jerobo um Fuck man, Jerobo's that guy, man. But yeah. Um <laughs> probably Casey and two Naruto, yeah. Um if you guys ever decide to read Toriko, then you have a conversation about it. The Eight Kings run Naruto. What if the Eight Kings run Naruto? Yeah. Oh, um, I, I have something teach- for you though, Jay. Um, I forgot his yeah. goddamn name. The evil dude in Hero Academia. Um, what's it called? What's his fucking name? Have you even seen that yet, actually? Uh, my Hero Academia, not yet. No. Okay, never mind, never mind. Yeah, you won't know. But if when you eventually watch that shit's also really fucking good, by the way. If you like JJK and Arthur, you'll yeah, like that. Yeah, I heard it's really good. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's, really it's pretty good. Um, what's it called? But like the main villain, he's like cracked, like he's really fucking strong, and he gets like stronger and stronger. Um, everybody like eventually. Uh, well, I saw this on Twitter as a topic. It was like him, um, versus uh fucking Gojo. And I, and I was like, you know what? That's oh, actually shit. a pretty fucking fire talk. Like, but you won't understand it until you you see it. So, but it's actually uh, pretty yeah. fucking cool to think about. Yeah. yeah, he's probably cracked. Because the question was yeah. basically like, how would his ability work against Goju's Infinity? And it's really interesting to think about. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just why Kage was unstoppable when only being because she was dumb. So why would Ishiki and Milmo be beaten when they had more IQ? Yeah, but that was weaker than Naruto and Sasuke though. No. Wait, what? She what was, was retarded though. Like, Kage was being only because she was dumb, and Ishiki and Momo weren't. Yeah, but, like, uh, Kage, she yeah. was more powerful than them in, like, measures of, of, you know, chakra, you know, potency and all that, you name it. Yeah, Naruto and Sasuke were weaker, and, like, yeah. Yeah, they were, they were weaker, um, it's just, you know, there, there was a lot of circumstantial shit that happened. For what, she was yeah. taking the L's, and, like, they were, they were at least relative to her. But, yeah, you know, and yeah, that, and, enough, yeah they are yeah. relative, using their intelligence, and that's why they were doing good for the most part, and... She was at first mentally inflicted, like mentally nerfed as well in the beginning. Like she just yeah, wasn't exactly. even trying to kill him or nothing. She could have killed him at so many times, but she just refused and was like having Zetsu talk his shit and flex. And then once they finally get serious, like then she's like really giving him fucking problems. And then once she like goes even more into it, she immediately like speed blitzes Sasuke and throws him in a dimension. And then like Naruto is only fucking surviving because he's like doing thousands upon thousands of clones, pro- pro- prolonging the inevitable, you know? Exactly. Like they would have yeah. lost, but it just it boiled down to circumstantial shit happening, and everybody gets yeah, a W. In there. Like simple. Kakashi, he was the saving grace. If I'm being honest with you, they yeah, would have lost. Was. They would have lost right there and then if it wasn't for the six pass Kakashi shit. So. Yeah, without that, yeah, they would have lost that day yeah. for sure. Uh, a number of X Men have had the Phoenix Force. Well, I'm sure, man. There's like endless iterations of this. Um, again, I hated Naruto and Sasuke beating Fuse Momo. I mean, I lo- I enjoyed them beating his ass but yeah i just you know uh, it was Demon. great in the way they did it too like they did like a fucking majestic susano fusion you know what i mean like against his golem i thought it was i thought it was a great fight if i'm being honest with you yeah it's one of the best uh fights in like, they were equal yeah. like sasuke's uh, sasuke not at full power and naruto not at full power were able to make up that gap of fuse momo and equal be equal to him yeah you know i mean exactly so uh dms kakashi versus toneri Toneri seems to be like a inferior, like an inferior Tsutsuki clan member, like an outcast. Um, yeah. I would say Demon he didn't, Kakashi. He didn't like them either. He was talking shit about them and everything, and didn't yeah. fuck with them. I would know? say Demon is Kakashi. If he can kill him within the time limit, then Kakashi. If Toneri could survive it, like he regens or something, um, then Toneri. You just outlast Kakashi. But yeah, there's always that uh, one argument, say, like for like. If you think like that, Naruto's drastically more stronger than the one in the war. Yeah, think, then there's that too. But, yeah, you know. If you think he's drastically stronger, then yeah, Kakashi would lose. But but it's hard to I, prove that definitively. Obviously, you have yeah. time and you name it whatever. So sure, he can maybe be slightly stronger. But as long as Kakashi has at least a form of relativity, you know what I mean? Then that would be just enough. Because Wakami, that's just just broken. So. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Ishiki, however, was what I expected of Momoshiki. He's a badass. Yeah. If you put the lightning benders from Avatar into Naruto, how far would they go? It's not very far at all. Um, fucking lightning time. I mean, that's maybe fast to like part one fucking like Bro, canning. I mean, like Kashi like, as a fucking kid was cutting lightning itself. Yeah, he, they'd probably barely get into part one and they'd start getting fucked up by like stronger shinobi. Yeah, like like Joni. Akashi deadass did a Raikuri, not even at full power, moved you know with his speed and like literally was able to cut lightning before it hit the ground. Like that's pretty fucking yeah. fast. <laughs> it's pretty fast. Like, yeah. And you want to know what's interesting Akashi. about that? Like that's as fast as literally Sasuke's technique of Kirin. You know what I mean? Like it's instantaneous. Yeah. And like hey, Kakashi's over here doing shit like that. You know what I mean? So like it, it's it's really interesting. Um, like, so then you yeah. can only imagine how fast they're moving, you know, obviously the more stronger they get, etc. you know? Exactly. Yeah, they wouldn't get too far. Um, and the reacting to sound attacks, like, in the force to death, like, the reacting to Zaku yeah. shit, um, you know, like, all that crap and whatnot, those are literally sound-based attacks, so... Yeah. They wouldn't even get past the Konoha 12, because Naruto, uh, worst case, Naruto has a rage moment, and then fucking Ninetales comes out. And that so. too, yeah. Then, yeah then, you're, then those lightning benders are getting like, fucking speed blitz. Like, if, if you see, like, fucking, like, some fodder-ass side characters reacting, um, you know what I mean, to, like, these sound people, whatever, using sounds and shit, and then you even see, like, Sasuke with Curse Mark 1 incomplete, if anything, you know what I mean? Like, Literally. reacting to a full, yeah. like, scale, like, insane sound wave, like, fucking blast that, like, destroy the entire fucking force and that motherfucker just uses raw speed and dodges sound itself at that scale like yeah like just imagine naruto like way through in the arcs and then even with the qb like <laughs> it's fucking yeah like the strongest benders would obviously be like the avatar himself maybe how far he would go yeah and then like fucking fire lord ozai during the solar eclipse or some shit like that like one of those guys would probably go the farthest yeah in naruto they wouldn't go that far either but they'd go farther than the fucking lightning benders though mm-hmm. so yeah, they're pretty strong. I mean, but compared to Naruto, not really. So, uh, um, let's see. I meant to say, let's see, uh, Bloodbenders. Oh yeah, those are dope. Bloodbenders are dope. The Genin would beat the Benders in Avatar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me tell you why I hated Naruto and Sasuke beating Momo Kage. Feared his arrival along with Momo Shikikage. It's only in one fruit, Momo has eaten several. I mean, Naruto and Sasuke just got a lot stronger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. But yeah, folks, any more questions you may have, feel free. Go a little longer. Any questions at all? You guys feel free to mix it up with some other stuff. You know, a philosophy question was asked earlier. Uh, just different questions. Hmm. IRL, moral, IRL. philosophy, anime, yeah. you name it. Politics, Sports, whatever. UFC, politics, yeah. Yeah. current events. But yeah, this is a good time for anime. Speaking of time uh, for, fighting uh, and shit, is there any big events coming up soon? I don't remember. Yeah, next Saturday, Canelo's fighting. It's a boxing fight, though, but he's fighting next week. Oh, uh, he's fighting... I forgot the name. There's two twins. They're both, like, really good boxers. I forget which one he's fighting. Jamal or Jamal? They're both, like, fighters, yeah. but I forgot which one. Yeah, that's, that should be a good fight. Wasn't um, there something happening with, like, Logan Paul, too, or no? Logan, sure. they're fighting, I think, October-ish... Uh, Dylan and uh, Logan. I yeah, want to see that. that. Guy. Yeah. After all the shit Dylan talked, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, all the how huge that drama is right uh, now. Every day he posts a picture of Logan's bitch. Like, holy shit. What the uh, fuck? He's on his ass. Yeah, you, like, you know that's going to be a fight. It's either somebody's getting <laughs> slammed yeah. or a dog. <laughs> yeah. Or if it's going to be a bloodbath, yeah. bro. Yeah, if Logan loses that fucking fight, he can never. Sh- Yo, that's sad. Yeah, right. no, nah, if he loses. Like, his girl, his girl <laughs> is a, his girl's for the street. Yeah, like Dylan bitches him. We all find out his girls for the streets, yep. and he fucking like the, his life's over. Uh, he has to win that. He either has to, has win, to win that win. or make it extremely a bloodbath contentious fight. Like it's just all blood yeah, he, and nothing, you know. He has to. He fucking has to. Like he's defending himself. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I do think Logan is more than likely gonna take it. I think he's gonna have the mental advantage. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like yeah. he's gonna have way more motivation and. And just you know, he's gonna have a bigger mental end, bro. Like, while the other guy, he's just mad and pissed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. While, he has hey, no, while Logan, like, like everything's uh, on the line. His reputation. Yeah. His bitch is being you know uh, insulted and, and made fun of. All that. He is like, it's just more to lose. You yeah. Know? He, 
Dylan does, as far as like skills, like Dylan's a, a jiu jitsu guy. He's not even a striker. So yeah. Logan probably has more time consistently boxing than Dylan. So yeah, there's he's and bigger anything, than Dylan. That's really bad too. Like that's just retarded. Like yeah. you, I would I would ask him in a grappling match, not a fucking boxing yeah. match. The yeah, fuck? grappling Dylan would fucking murder him. But yeah, in boxing, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a chance that there's more likely Logan's probably gonna win. Yeah, I want Dylan. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, Logan. So I don't like Logan that much, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. yeah, for me, you need Amon, Zaire, Katara, all the avatars we have seen in their primes, Ozai. Uh, team has done a chance against Naruto. Hey, oh, Jay. even with all the benders. Jay, even never... with all the ten. All... Go ahead, go ahead, yeah. my bad. <laughs> even with all the benders, and Naruto would fuck. Naruto alone in his prime would fuck up all the benders. Oh, yeah, he slams them all. Like, not yeah, even competition. All of them. Yeah, it's not even close. Like, but now what I was going to say is uh, remember when Logan Paul was crying to Jake Paul? Like, I'm a better fighter than bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bitch. Oh, my God. He was so hurt uh... that Jake had his moment. Uh... He's like, what about me, man? Like, Jake's like, you never fought a real fighter. You lost to Floyd Mayweather. You're not a real boxer. I was like, damn. <laughs> Logan's like, ah, I think I think they don't want to scare. They don't want to fight me because they're scared of me. And Jake's yeah. like, are you serious, bro? You're not a fucking fighter. Why would they be scared of you? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, that was dumb as fuck. Logan knows damn always well lying. Man, man had Jake, an eagle check. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like Jake legitimately can box. Logan can't box for shit. Like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He he was really trying to compete with Jake. Like, oh man, I'm a better fighter than you. And people are scared of me. I'm like, dude, no one fucking cares about you. And imagine we see fight him fight that one dude, like Logan, and then like yeah. he's fucking either getting bitched or or he barely yeah. won. Like, and, you, and you're gonna still or, sit here matching. <laughs> yeah, or you're, or you're gonna fight Jake. I guarantee Jake would. <clears throat> out. Oh yeah, Jake would beat him. Yeah, yeah, he beat his ass. Um, let's see. How strong would Momo be if he became a Ten Tails in Cherokee? <laughs> Jesus, he'd be strong as shit. Oh yeah, it's uh, yeah, shit. Well, look at fucking Jigen. Like that motherfucker is siphoning just portions of its power, and he's busted. yeah, it's portions of it. Uh, Jace, like honestly, here is and here's and would mop the floor with them. The benders, yeah, yeah, folks. Uh, what if the Eight Kings in Toriko was in? Well, I'm not familiar with Toriko, but. <clears throat> Uh, what if Rock Lee became the Tentos in Cherokee during the war? Would he be able to use Ninjutsu and Genjutsu? Um, it, it doesn't seem like you gain new Dojutsu. Well, technically, a Three Eyed Moderate got like a new, like Rene Sharingan or whatever on top of his forehead. Yeah. Um, maybe he would get a Renegon, being the, the fucking Tentos in Cherokee. Um, at that in that case, he would be able to use Genjutsu. Obviously, we don't know how that interaction would go, but. Yeah. Um, he'd obviously be very strong, and he's very mentally tough. So he probably would tame the Ten Tails like Madara did. Like Juby took well, him to really control. Jigen just controlled it with the fucking the rods. Yeah. So he'd probably be very powerful. He has the mindset for toughness, the willpower. So, um, probably stronger than Juby Toe. I mean, just because of the mental fortitude, he'd be more stable at least. Uh, what if Ishiki had a Rinnegan instead of a Byakugan? Well, Ishiki had like a, like beyond, uh, like he had like a more that one eye, what is yeah. It called? Yeah, he he had more tomoe, not tomoe's, but like beyond six. Yeah. He had like eight, kind of like implying eight paths, not six paths. Yeah, it was like beyond um, the Renegon, his Doji too. Yeah. Yeah, it was like beyond even the Renegons. Yeah, he's fucking cracked. If Naruto were in Bleach, how far does he go before he loses? Do you think Naruto would get past Kimpachi? I don't know about full potential Kenpachi. That guy's fucking cracked, man. Maybe like, like if it's like Soul Society arc Kenpachi, probably. Yeah. But if it's like current Kenpachi, I don't know, man. A thousand year blood war Kenpachi. I think he starts to struggle with guys. With prime Naruto. I mean, prime Naruto would have the best shot of doing well. Um, he got guys like Aizen, guys like Yuwak, guys like Kenpachi. Uh, he'd he'd have some trouble. Maybe maybe not because of pure raw power, but because of hacks. Yeah. Like his senses would Speed be manipulated. Hacks, I, yeah. yeah, that would be the problem. He might be more raw, have more raw power than all of them. You could argue that. But as far as hacks, I don't know how you would deal with that. It's like Genjutsu times a hundred. Fucking Aizen's yeah. broken ass shit. If you, if you give yeah, him like know. barrier mode as well, then he might be fine. Yeah, he might be able to one shot. Yeah, with barrier mode, but yeah, maybe. He, he but would with the struggle. Speed and hacks, with he probably doesn't even get to that point, you know. Yeah, with speed and hacks, like 
that would be the the best tool he has. If he even gets touched by that, but the hacks that someone like Aizen has, he's, done. he's gonna have done. a lot of fucking trouble. It's like getting hit by Itachi's Genjutsu. Like, what do you do? Yeah, literally. Like you don't, and sometimes you don't even know you're hit by it. Like Aizen, you're fighting Aizen in reality. You're not fighting. Yeah, you're in fucking get trap. At any point in time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what? Uh, let's see. What if Momoshiki wasn't a rehashed version of Boruto? Um. Well, he'd have to find a vessel to survive, yeah. like, kind of like Ishiki, but he'd find a vessel somehow. Which girl would you rather have? 70 IQ, 7 out of 10 attractiveness in one body, or 100 IQ, 9 out of 10 attractiveness in 11 bodies? I don't really care about IQ like that, so. Yeah. Like the first thing. If anything, the higher <laughs> IQ they have, the more uh, confrontational they'll probably be as well. Yeah, like, they're, they're, more, they're probably more industrious. Yeah, they're try probably to be more, more superior, be uh, more, you know, controlling whatever. This and that. Fuck that. No. Uh, I want somebody to like, add any more to my stress, yada, yada, you name it. 70 IQ <laughs> doesn't mean like, it doesn't mean like you're like brain dead. That's still like, yeah. there's people that have a 70 IQ and have like, yeah, it's harder to, to get like a higher, higher skill job, but they still work and stuff. They're not like fucking. Like, and if anything, anything with them like having issues in that department, like in the competitive competitive spectrum of things, whatever. Normally, when you have a disadvantage in in society and whatnot, you become more humble as a person. You because you you you've been through so much yeah. discrimination, maybe even bullying as well, you know, or how to work way more harder, or just know how like how much you know, basically how tough the world works, you know. And, yeah, and and with that, IQ you know, is with that reality a... check, that's gonna put you kind of in place and make you more of a better person. So yeah. 100 IQ, I believe, is average. I think that's like blatantly average. So it's not like super high, yeah. but 70 IQ. I mean, that doesn't mean they're dumb either. No, just, no. They're, they're, IQ just basically measures your ability to absorb information, like your rate of growth, like how fast you can absorb. Yeah. For the most part, that's what it rates. So 70 isn't like holy shit, she's dumb as fuck. But um, if anything, I could develop help develop her intelligence. That too. So those yeah. Guys that have, <laughs> yeah. Those guys that have like a 90, like a 90, that are smarter than a guy with 110 IQ just because they work harder. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the IQ doesn't determine everything. No. Now, if they have like a fucking IQ of 20, then they're like, hell no. Yeah. So, that's <laughs> obviously different. Yeah, that's something else. Um, uh, can you power scale Chuck Norris? Huh? Uh, he's omnipresent. Yeah, omnipresent. <laughs> uh, him, Bruce Lee, omnipresent. Uh, out reversal. Those guys are beyond reality. So, basically. Um, yeah, basically both those guys. Uh, I won't like the Quincy King. Might I don't like the Quincy King. Might even beat Barry Amon. to be honest, he's gonna need Barry Amon to even stand a chance against Aizen. I think he needs uh and Orange versus Kimpachi, even with Shikai alone. Yeah, those guys are cracked, man. Those are the guys I he'd struggle with the most. So, um, Big Daddy Jigen keeps a pet ten tails. Yeah, he literally had a pet. Uh, Code's <laughs> taking care of him now, making clones out of him. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Borto's bitching him though. Hopefully, he whips Code's ass. I hope he backs it up. I hope it's not a Gojo situation. Imagine he gets his yeah. fucking ass whipped. <laughs> then everyone's calling him a fucking fraud and shit. It's gonna be insane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna be pissed if that happens. I swear to God. Like he's stepping on his head, um, and Code like is like, "Who are you fucking talking to?" And then releases his power, <laughs> and like Borto's like getting bitched. Oh my God! I'm gonna be so fucking disappointed. I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Like, first Gojo, now Boruto. And Sodara has to get him and retreat and run. <laughs> uh. It's like, what's happening in anime? All the main characters getting fucking slammed and shit. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be pissed, man. Yeah. That would be like Goku losing to Frieza, imagine? If he yeah. would have lost in Namek. Holy shit, man. Uh, that changes uh, shit drastically. I, yeah, that would fucking suck. Uh, what I remember, someone posted something about Chuck Norris losing his virginity before his dad. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, that's a feat, man! A hell of a fucking feat right there. That's how you know he's he transcends time. <laughs> he's fucking, <laughs> he's uh, fucking omniversal. Um, let's see. Big Daddy Ishiki kicked Naruto in the face and cracked Boruto's spine. Yeah. Uh, what Naruto character is most likely to be a Nazi? Probably fucking Toby Rama. <laughs> Or Donzo. Donzo would be a. Orochimaru would probably be a Nazi. He's like a perfect body. Like a fucking Nazi or some shit. Um, probably Toborama, though, or Donzo. Probably be like fucking um, some Nazis. <laughs> Racist ass people. Uh, Toborama's like, we need to cleanse the fucking. We need to cleanse the Shinobi from filth of the Uchiha. Like, there's some shit that fucking 
Hitler would say about everyone else that's not German and white and blue eyed. So, yeah, dead ass. That's probably someone like him. <laughs> not wrong. Um, yeah, Joe Richard is not really a Nazi. He cares about himself. Like Hitler wanted to. He had like this just ethnic cleansing fucking yeah. plan or something. Rosemar is more like, that, like but... a, a just a psych- psychotic serial killer for his own. Like, yeah, he's more like a him. like a fucking. Um, if I think compare it to like a real life person, he'd be like fucking. Let's see. Jeffrey Dahmer? I don't fucking know. Like Jeffrey Dahmer, some weird ass shit like that. Yeah, he's a <laughs> person. Yeah. Um, would have Baron Mode Naruto still had his true seeker orbs? That probably would have helped against Ishii. He didn't really need him, but maybe it would have helped him finish the job faster against uh, Ishiki. That's even that's if they even affect him. I don't know how that would interaction would go because he's a Tsutsuki. Yeah, she, um, he can part his heel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even if Momoshiki had a cool powers design and a great fight, he still pulled out. Uh, yeah. Deidara is definitely a Nazi. <laughs> uh, he is the same ethnic, uh, he's still the same uh, race as a Nazi. White with fucking blue eyes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thunder God just posted a Yujiro video. Oh, that shit was heat. I saw um, uh, the the one that, yeah, the Yujiro video, I saw that. It was pretty heat. I need to check out that anime, to be honest. Tomorrow isn't racist. Dondo's a racist. Tomorrow changed his mind about Sasuke. Yeah, I would say he reformed. But during the during his era, he was certainly racist, for sure. Um, D- Dondo's definitely racist. Yeah. I mean, he literally almost extinct, you know, extinguished all the fucking Uchiha. Yeah, he forced it. Tosh. He forced it out. Yeah, he there. forced it. Uh, he had ethnic cleansing, literally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Basically, the closest thing to him. Then try to have. finish the job with Sasuke when Itachi's dead because he's a coward and a yeah, bitch. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched Sage's thick calves. Oh, I've seen some of his videos. Video on Minato versus Ali Okoski. I agree with his takes. The most surprising for me was that his opinion: Minato barely wins against the Sori and Datera. Barely? What I don't know about barely fuck? wins. Barely? What? He would speed bust their asses. Literally, what, what the fuck is happening <laughs> here? <laughs> How the, fuck, how the saying. fuck are they that strong now out of nowhere? <laughs> Motherfuckers are str- like they're struggling against a, a Sonning or Ochimar. You know what I mean? Like uh, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. Datero was like Datero was saying heavy Sasuke was too quick for him. now Minato? Come on. Uh, um, <laughs> Literally, he goes still... in the sky this bird because Sasuke's too fast. <laughs> yeah, like only his reaction Sasuke. speed was able to like keep him alive with using his explosions in combination and he had to like concede. Uh, and then go on his goddamn bird. Yeah, it's a story his puppet body is being reacted to by fucking Sakura. Not that. Um, would you power scale creative mode Minecraft Steve? I think that's omnipresent. He can build whatever he fucking wants. Omnipresent. Cracked. Um, uh, to be fair, the had... story is like at least a little understandable, because especially with certain scaling yeah. you can do for him. You know, Hanzo and Chiyo. Yeah, like, you could yeah. argue for him to be beyond Sonning, but either way, Minato's, like, beyond Sonning, Sonning, Sonning. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, another, another like tier. Like, him, and his, Itachi, and Obito are in a whole other tier of power. Like, they're they're literally those guys for a reason. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's insane. Like, yeah, he, he's pretty cracked. Um, his speed just doesn't compare. That's the no. only problem. No. Not even no. hacks and powers. Yeah, not even hacks and powers. Like, yeah, exactly. The poison, I guess, would be kind of an issue. Just yeah. Minato would just have to... Would have to avoid it, which wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, Tachi could avoid yeah, it. Just it. Genjutsu, so many ways. Susano, whatever. Minato, flying, rising, ceiling, etc. You name it. Speed, fucking Obito, Kamui, speed, shotting gun, Genjutsu. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, what if Rishimaru had both? Yeah, exactly. What if Rishimaru had both Kimimaru's Bone, Keke, Genkai, and Sasuke's Sharingan? I mean, he'd probably start being a threat to guys like. I don't he, know about. He could only have one like body, a, though. Yeah, I don't, he would have to like implant Sasuke's shit in. Yeah, Kimimaru yeah, he would have to eyes. take his eyes like Kakashi. Like, oh, fuck, Kakashi yeah. did. If if he was able to pull that off, and he does get amped substantially, maybe then he'd be a threat to guys like Itachi. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe, yeah, possibly. But that's theoretical though. Um, Jay Gray, yeah, he said it's extremely high diff. He said that they are long range fighters that don't have too many, uh, that don't have too many, that have too many one shots. I mean. The poison and data is bombs, but he would fucking um mean to have a problem. The abilities in Jitsu's are redundant if you're not fast enough to employ them. That's yeah, the it just would never land. It'd be, you have to be equal to look... or relative to your opponent. 
So yeah, it would be very, very, very unlikely that he miscalculates to that extent and gets hit with something like yeah. that. So yeah. Um, I mean, let's see. Well, Fucker didn't get hit, or... hit from an off guard calmly, bro. You think he's gonna hit by that shit? Yeah, that shit is way faster. Like than Sasuke, Sasuke could dodge yeah. all Dataris explosives without even curse mark. And then is forced to use Curse Mark because of uh, the mind combination, which required Toby, by the way. Um, yeah. And then literally, like, with Curse Mark, he's still dodging in CM2, but then eventually gets hit again because, you know, he, he can't go anywhere. The mind's and in, in from above. So, like, yeah. bottom line is, if Heavy Sasuke can react to all this shit, and then literally only Chio was scaling to Sasori, and, you know, and all that, and you have all his scaling, and then even Soccer could at least react to his puppet shit, you know? There's no way you're going to convince me Minato can't do anything. That's just crazy. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's very unlikely that he'd fail against those. So, yeah. Uh, the White Fang versus the Three Sani in part one. The White Fang. It, I mean, it's extremely vague, yeah. like, what his scaling is. The only thing we have is Minato saying, oh, he, the Sani Pell comparison to him. Um, so maybe he's, like, on the cover, like, Sasori or Hanzo, you know? Yeah. Maybe. Like, the, 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 the or best the weaker versions of him. Yeah, the best interpretation semantically they could give it is that he means all three in conjunction in pale in comparison. Yeah. Or you could or you could interpret that as he means that individually. Yeah, that um, too. If it's yeah. all three if it's all three in conjunction then he would beat them on um, part one. If it's one individually, if it's all three fighting him, he'd probably struggle against all three. Not thinking about it. I think Minato said all of them though. Yeah, if it is all then he probably would beat them. Yeah. At least in base. I have to go back He's to using it. like three yeah, if there's no Edos, of course, and of course, like, in base at least. Now, if they're using their, like, Sani plus forms, like, 100 healings, uh, yeah. fucking Hydra Snakes, Sage mode, maybe then he'd lose. Um, but if 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 all of them conjunctively pale in comparison to, to fucking him, like, how they pale in comparison to Hanzo, yeah. um, in part one, then uh, he'd probably beat them. Yeah. Yeah, it it depends just depends. We just unfortunately don't have any feats, and... Once yeah. again, statements they're not definitive, you know, like that like there's plenty of examples, so it's kinda hard to really yeah, gauge that, where he's at, the, you know. Yeah, the the ambiguity of that statement is certainly interpretive, so it, it depends. Um, yeah. yeah, so I'm reading it right now, Jay, at least the manga version, not the anime. Um it says Kakashi's father Sigma is a genius, feared as the mm-hmm. white fang of Konoha. In his time, the three great shinobi of Konoha legend paled beside him. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it, it's it's a little vague, but it's yeah, it's vague. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't say like all three of them at, you know combined paled, or it doesn't say, you know what I mean it doesn't or it doesn't say one. So meaning if it's one on one, then you know there's a problem there, <laughs> like because that just basically yeah, means exactly. he's only sawning level, or maybe it could possibly mean he's sawning he's above sawning. You know we just don't know exactly. Yeah, uh, Jay, would you collab with Shinobi and Batman on the Spotter versus Akatsuki? Yeah, we've actually been talking about that. Um, we are going to do that eventually. Espada versus the Akatsuki. Yeah, eventually we're going to do that. Hmm. That is going to come eventually. That's a great video. Yeah, we have to do that eventually. I mean, that would be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, that would be dope. Did you guys hear about the Russian kid who killed himself over Itachi's death? What the fuck? That's insane, bro. <laughs> Damn. That's the way to go out. That man took it to extreme. Uh, that's shit. that's like, too oh, bad. At the end of the day, you know, all seriousness, that's that's horrible. You know, I mean, that's yeah, that's fucking horrible. Name it, but the goddamn. Fucked up. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, I didn't hear about that though. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's one thing for uh, death if... threats and shit to people, but to to, to take your own life, goddamn. Yeah, no, that that's that's like extreme devotion to your Yeah, man. that's insane. Uh, what if he Obito had eternal DMS? This is the way I, I would I would uh, analyze that. He would at bare minimum have a two times amp. Because we all know just having double, uh, you know, DMS in general gives you a two times up in speed. Yep. Now, if he has eternal DMS, it's very easy to safely assume that the 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 amp to the speed would be even more than times two. So I mean, who knows? It, obviously, the just look how far Modera got from EMS. Look how far Sasuke yeah. got from EMS. You know. So imagine Obito with beyond a two times up in speed. The 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 exact quantification is arbitrary, but just imagine Obito with. Beyond twice the speed, I highly, highly guarantee that his speed would be faster than this. The, the two times that. Obito, specified. Obito's gonna be even way beyond fucking KCM two Sage Mode Naruto at that point, bro. Yeah, even at that point, he's competing with guys like that. Like, yeah, he'd be a huge threat. He's just um, he's beyond because, like, if Renegon, like, he's not even at full power, mind you. But if Renegon Obito's over here, like, you know, uh, being contentious against KCM two Naruto. 
just imagine what both fucking MS and he, EMS yeah. like. You might be legitimately a threat to Madara just speed at that point. Yeah, yeah. But yeah even Madara would be basically. Yeah, he might. Yeah, he might actually lose that. He'd be fucked. Yeah, he might. He might actually lose that. Yeah, depending on. You know, because um, Obito is kind of always shown to be on like on a similar level with Renegon to Edo Madara. You know. Yeah, exactly. Boro Shiki versus Prime Sasuke full power. Uh, it depends on the Boro Shiki we're talking about because yeah. even after Sasuke lost his Renegon, he was, he was able, able to, fight to him. react. Yeah. He's and actually beating his ass in a way, too. Yeah, and that was an 80% manifested <laughs> Boro yeah. Shiki. So that's damn near full power. Um, now, if it's like current Boruto with like a hypothetical Momo amp, then he probably beats uh, Sasuke. But yeah. if it's uh, the Boro, Boro Shiki of the past, then... Sasuke which which that makes more sense because there is I don't know what's going on but I saw like a clip um it was a long long time ago but it's like I only saw a couple things to where like Borto was in his shit again and literally uh, well it was either Borto or Kawaki I don't remember but either way one of them was using their full karma and then literally was just bitching Naruto like Sage Mo Naruto yeah. like just bitching him yeah. like he was nothing so literally. like if they're doing that at that point in time to Naruto be the same thing to fucking Sasuke. But if once again, yeah. if it's the eighty percent one, then no, they would still win. Sage and Naruto would still yeah, win. It, Sasuke would more than likely exactly. still win due to intelligence and and not only that, like uh Borshiki even like says, like, I forgot exactly what it's like, I just watched it, but but he's literally like like freaking out. Like he's getting nervous. He's like, This is really bad. Like I don't actually know what to do. Like I, I you know, I'm not gonna be able to beat Sasuke. And at the same time, yeah. I can't I, I you know, I can't absorb any jutsu of chakra because if i do that then boruto will remain will get control as well so he can't absorb ninjutsu and literally sasuke is beating his ass so it's like he's that, that was right after his nerf too <laughs> yeah so. exactly that's right that's after the nerf exactly yeah. so, that's insane too to be honest and it's funny because yeah. i also further concludes that that particular sasuke and naruto would also wash uh the, the other inner car members still um what's it called delta that i won't i won't say no not her yeah delta is a little yeah, yeah. yeah little um but boro he would still get washed up because that motherfucker got oh, clapped yeah. by 80 percent yeah either up. a lower percent yeah. or 80 percent boroshiki okay he got yeah, fucking but... slammed um you know what i mean so like it just no matter what like it just it goes to show how pretty powerful nerf sasuke and sasuke and naruto is it's pretty impressive yeah exactly so. yeah it's, they're still relatively impressive yeah, yeah. um that's my only issue. He also said Minato would lose to Itachi. I mean, I say 50 50. Well, if it's sick Itachi, I'll, I, he'd probably beat them. If it's like full power Itachi, then Minato might have some trouble against those two. But um, yeah, that's a tough one. Minato versus sick Itachi and Kisame. I, I would say probably would win. Yeah. Um, Itachi, power, Itachi just wouldn't be able to last long enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Know? And Kisame is just too slow. So yeah, it depends on which Itachi. But then, um, but then again, you could still argue in favor for Itachi because, like, he's even a threat to Orange Mask Obito, and Orange Mask Obito yeah, would be stronger exactly. than that Minato. So. Yeah, you, yeah, you can even argue Itachi is yeah. sick with, and Kasami would, would still, still win. win. Yeah. yeah, and then with, with yeah, collaborate, exactly. like Kasami probably just immediately gets out of the picture. I'm just gonna be honest with you; he probably just gets yeah, done with too immediately. Slow. Um, but yeah. it just boiled down to Itachi versus Minato again, and I, I, I'm gonna be honest, Itachi probably takes it. You know, yeah. the only way Minato he, would, would, would would uh pull it off is if Itachi falls before he can go. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Prime Hanzo versus Old Man Hirzen. Prime Hanzo. I mean, probably Hanzo, because he's above like all three Sonics injected yeah. conjunctively. I mean, yeah, they they are younger, but they do all. So I would deduce probably him. Sick Itachi versus Prime Hanzo. Or Itachi slams his ass. Oh, slams. Yeah. Uh, looks him in the eyes, dead. Uh, here's an Orochimaru versus Five Kage, Slam, and Sasuke and Danzo. Here's an Orochimaru. Uh, Sasuke would definitely take that. Uh, yeah, Sasuke yeah. is much faster, much more capable. Susano, what do they do? Um, his yeah. MS Genjutsu, like if if Orochimaru is struggling to fucking Itachi's three tomo, like even though it's Itachi oh, sure, to be yeah. fair, but um, but like you, know, he has an MS. Like yeah, I just don't fucking see them doing that. Yeah, probably Sasuke due to his speed, his. <laughs> His Genjutsu would be a problem for both those guys. Yeah. Like, we're probably. talking about old heroes in two? Yeah, like, absolutely. Gets fucked. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Prime Itachi versus Old Man Hirazen. Itachi washes him. Yep. Um, why didn't Orochimaru make a clone of Madara and take his body? We saw Madara bleed and lose body parts when he came back to life. Uh, if you're talking about, like, post-war Orochimaru, he was reformed at that point. He didn't have the same clones, uh, the same 
a goal as he used to. I yeah. think he started to become more reformed. Yeah. I know after the uh, he's taking a chill. After he got yeah, after he got resurrected, he did say like, "Oh, I I can't beat Sasuke right now, or I shouldn't try, or some shit." But it just seems like he got reformed, especially once he created Mitsuki. It seemed like he actually developed a heart of some sort. Yeah. You know, sent sent Mitsuki to Konoha, got an education, was happy to see him thrive. I didn't think it was more due to him being reformed. And it's um, more just like to accepting his power, because like he can't be yeah. fuck with Naruto and Sasuke at that point either. Like, what yeah, the fuck does he do? What he six does. path, you yeah. know? No matter what it is, he'll never be able to fucking compete with fucking Otsutsuki or Naruto and Sasuke. So. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, it took, it took for him to start shit. training, you know, and getting stronger in time, and then to a point where, even at that point, like, maybe Bo- that Boruto Orochimaru can maybe, you know, be able to deal with the, the Naruto and Sasuke in the war, but not the fucking ones in Boruto still either. Like, yeah, you just no. can't do there's, shit. There's nothing, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing Orochimaru could really do at that point anyway. Um, Itachi versus Team Taka. If it's the one the fuck killer B, Itachi's fucking slamming all of them. Yeah. Um, if it's the Team Taka during the war, arc, I mean, we have EMS Sasuke. P- Let's say it's Peak EMS <clears throat> Sasuke, Jugo, Karin, so he gets to. At that point, I think Itachi would probably struggle. Hmm. We have like Jugo, Enhanced, Susano, fucking Sasuke. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Itachi hey, giving all the chalker and healing too, and, and then yeah. Shigetsu so going really his like water on... style thing. <laughs> Yeah, it really depends on the uh, Team Taka. So, yeah. If it's like early Team Taka that gets washed by Itachi. If it's late Warwick, then Taka would win. Where does Damon scale? Oh, shit, man. I mean, he's above Jigen. We know that. Um, so he's already above the majority of the Boruto verse. Um, it, it seems Code's intimidated by him and, and Ida. So he's probably even above fucking Code, who's above Jigen. Look, this puts Damon at another level. Um,. It's arguably the most powerful individual, excluding Shiba Otsutsuki. Yeah. Arguably. We need to see what Boruto could do. We need to see what, you know, Ida could do. We need to see what Kawaki and Code could do. Um, but I would deduce that da- Damon is only probably second to probably Shiba and maybe Ida. Um, that, he's that powerful. Um, he can literally reflect your intention back to you. If you think about killing him, you die. Like, it's, it's fucking broken. That's crazy. Crack ability. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, Kwaki and Boruto were like mad at him, and Bor- and I think Kwaki was like, "Stop! Don't don't even think about hurting him because you'll get fucked up." Like that's how powerful he is. So, yeah, no, he's fucking cracked, man. He's top three in the verse. I mean, the top five bare minimum. And it all minimum. came from a fucking scientist, an intelligent yeah, ass all motherfucker. Of, <laughs> all because of a motto. Yeah, literally. Like, what the fuck, bro? That meant, like, I'll cracked. never forget when I when. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I saw a post on Twitter like when it says the most intelligent anime characters, and and that motherfucker wasn't even on there. I was like, this dumbass bitch, whoever posted this shit, <laughs> like, <laughs> like bro, I'll never forget. I just saw him recent because I just watched the whole fucking peak arcs, like Shiki, Jing, and you name it. This man literally yeah. goes to the hidden leaf and starts bitching everybody with just raw intelligence. You know what I mean? Literally, even even yeah, reaction it speed, it was insane. You know what I mean? For just a normal dude, yeah. and like. He's just bitching everybody, outsmarting Shikamaru out of all people. You know what I mean? Literally. Forcing Naruto yeah. to obey to his, you know, will and you name it. Like, it was just wild, bro. Like, that motherfucker was ridiculous. Yeah. You know, and even planned great. on how to kill Jigen, and he seceded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's fucking cracked, man. Yeah. It makes all those fucking Andrew robots. The- like, bro, that man could literally just make multiple robots, and that's it. Rules the world. <laughs> yeah. Hanzo and Mifune versus Seven Ninja Swordsmen. One uh, round one with Kisame, one round with Fubuku instead of Kisame. With Kisame, he's a he's a he's a tough tough opponent. But uh, Hanzo and Mifune are above Sani. They like relative to each other. Yeah. Um, Kisame's abilities are troublesome though. Um, if it's without him, they slam this fucking Seven Swordsmen. But if it's with Kisame, um, that could be trouble. Uh, Hanzo has some. I mean, both these guys have some pretty interesting abilities. Like, yeah. Mifune, I think, has like a light speed attack or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, it's to where you can't even use Jutsu. That's how fast he is. Yeah. So I might lean towards them still. But uh, without the without Kisame, I mean, they slam. It's not even a contest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Swordsman's a fucking ass. Um, EMS Sasuke versus Donzo and Hanzo. <laughs> Donzo and Hanzo. Bro. Um, any version of EMS slams. Yeah. Be early or post. I mean, uh, or late. It's war, literally you know? asking Atachi. You know, at prime. Yeah, full power 
You know what I mean? Yeah, like if you take his lowest yeah. form, if you take his strongest form as EMS, that he has perfect Susano as well now. So Yeah, he's fucking slamming. Yeah. To be honest, this is a hot take, but I think Damon is stronger than most versions of Kenpachi. Damon is killing a lot of bleach character. Yeah, he literally just needs to know he knows what you're thinking. And if he <laughs> knows that you're thinking about killing him, you're fucked. Yeah. Kenpachi would right away Dude, Kenpachi, all he thinks about is battle. He'd be like, let me fuck this kid up. Literally. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me reflect that on you. And then he's dead. Or like someone like uh, you walk would be like, oh, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. He's like, oh, really? Uh, now you're dead. Like, he's that fucking powerful. So. It's, it's just outrageous. Yeah. What kind of power is that shit, bro? Like, <laughs> like, who the fuck makes this shit, bro? Like, oh, my God. I don't know what Amato was thinking that day in the lab. He's like, let me make a robot that can fuck in tension. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> fuck. And you can't even control him. Like, all these cyborgs run their mouth to him. Like, he's their, he's their <laughs> bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Damn, Amato, you should have thought twice about that shit. Literally, that's bro. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Like, like to be fair, he'll like, never he compare it to, like, that one dude that's making the androids fighting in Dragon Ball Z. Like, let's be real. That oh, is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's like, even crack, Super, yeah. like, yeah, that's his crack. Like, they're broken, but... But you got to give credit when it comes to abilities and hacks. Like that he does is superior yeah. than that one dude in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, the abilities are fucking cracked and fucking more. It's like just it. how, bro. Yeah, that's that's an insane ability. But uh, it also just goes the... to show that if somebody like Batman was in Naruto, that's what he would be doing. He'd just be making these motherfucking either suits that are cracked to slam the Naruto-verse. Literally. Or Bortoverse, <laughs> or he'll just, like, yeah. do some bullshit and, like, get, like, the perks and benefits that they have and just slam as well. Or if, he, if it's the right composite Batman version, he would just slam a roll stats alone. But, but either way, like, yeah. like that's Batman could just do the same shit. Like, it just goes to show, like, intelligence really does make you build different. Yeah, it triumph. <laughs> yeah. yeah, triumphs over a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Kawaki Karma V2 with Horn versus Jigen Karma V2. Uh, it's hard to gauge where Kawaki's where, where right now, where he's at. Yeah. Mm. He can go blow to blow with chance. Boruto, from what I heard, but it's both will Yeah, well. if, if they really are on close level and Boruto's not bluffing, then yeah, he'd probably beat Jigen. But if they're not, then he'd probably still lose to Jigen. Yeah. So. Ishiki, though, I doubt he'd beat him right now. Like, full power Ishiki. I don't think anybody's beating Barium Mode, Naruto, or Ishiki for a good while. Yeah. <laughs> not for a while, yeah. Whose karma is better, Ishiki's or Momo's? Aesthetically and power wise, I mean, Ishiki's is more Shiki, powerful. Yeah, even ability yeah. wise, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, exactly. So, Troy stated that Suzuki arguably have higher potential than the actual Super Saiyans based on what we learned about Ishiki and Shibai. More potential? What, what, yeah, I what mean, they're hack- they, they have hacks. Yeah. They have hacks. Yeah, so. I mean, Shibai's fucking 40, that's beyond any Super Saiyan. But, um, yeah, true. Ishiki raw stats, he gets folded by Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. Like, full of pure stats. His, his hacks would be a problem, but he, he'd get blitzed by them. Yeah, um, it wouldn't even matter. Or even if it, like, it hit Goku, you could still argue his how far he scales with his key and everything. It wouldn't even hurt him, you know? Yeah, it would have been, like, um, scratch his shit. So, yeah, it's... Um, Shibai probably has more potential than all the Saiyans. I mean, he's fucking 4D, so... Yeah. Shibai versus Ishiki, Kwaki, Boruto, Naruto. I mean, they wouldn't be able to perceive him. He's like 4D. Yeah. He's not even perceivable. So they'd slam all their ass. like literally omnipotence it. of power at that point, bro. He's like is yeah. Zeno from Super, bro. Or like whatever yeah, the fuck literally. called. Yeah, literally. The closest thing to Zeno we've seen in Boruto. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does A with Onoki make him lighter, uh, making him lighter Blitz Nagato? Uh, this is a good argument. This is a good argument because it depends on how much faster he becomes. Um... Modder was impressed by it, but he was holding back. Yeah, was it wasn't like Modder just got speed bullets, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah so. no, he wasn't like fucking bloodlust like it was with Hashirama. Mm-hmm. So it's possible that he blitzes Nagato. Yeah. Possible. Uh, but Nagato did bitch Casey and one Naruto. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they no diff. So, uh, like, it's like, mm, you know what I mean? Like, if you, if, yeah. basically, if that speed M doesn't get within that ballpark, least bare minimum, they're at least relative. Or maybe if you're yeah. really highball and equal. But what, that, that that doesn't do anything then, because then basically he could still react and Shino tense or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so Nagato probably the still the is still far. Yeah, yeah. If you give him the benefit of the doubt and you're like, oh, way faster because he fought Madara, like I guess, but that's hard to prove. So, yeah. and not only that, I like, say, I don't even think it gets that far either. Like, if it's both of them fighting him, he would kill him before they can even do that combo. <laughs> but yeah, if they're not like already doing it. Yeah, um. It's, <laughs> I would say unlikely, but it's possible. Yeah, but it's possible, but it's unlikely, yeah. Yeah. 
I hate Damon and Ida. But, like, you, you guys got to understand, like, the fact that Nagato speed blitzes and no divs Killer B and Naruto like that, like, that's just another level of power, dude. Yeah. You know I mean, like, that's, that's, that, that's no power. joke. Like, that literally, that's ridiculous. Like, fucking, yeah. that blatantly goes to show, like, that's literally what he would do to Raikage then. Literally. He'd yeah. Do the same thing much, to him. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, the thing uh, with Itachi and Aminato is, yes, Itachi was a threat to, own, to Obito, but Aminato's arsenal and fighting style is confirmed to be hard counter to MS and Sharingan abilities in general. Uh, I mean, not really. Obito was tooth and nail. Really. He almost lost. Yeah, that. it was pretty close. It was like one I don't know if he's a hard split. Counter. Se- yeah, like, if he was a yeah. hard counter, it'd have been like a guy to Kasame thing all over again. It would have like a slam. Yeah. So, um, I don't know about that. It, it wouldn't be an easy. It wouldn't be an easy fight, but. On- Toby Rama was a hard counter because with uh, yeah. the flying Raijin, like he did, he for one he didn't even know what it was. Two, like it completely caught him off guard. Like it, it was literally designed to get past the the precog of the the Mingeku shotting gun. You know what I mean? And it was yeah. like a freebie basically for him. So like, but with Minato and Obito, where it's different, they scaled so fucking equal to each other. Even with flying Raijin, whatever you name it, none of that mattered. Obito could still fight whatever. Minato just says it himself like it's gonna boil down to whoever's just faster that's it yeah. you know what I mean like it didn't yeah. matter about Flying Rising it didn't matter about Kamui they both were like the same stats you know what I mean like so. yeah exactly it, it wouldn't be an easy fight I mean, Minato would be tough yeah no it would still be tough because um. once again the only way it's easy is if he scales uh, way over to where yeah then obviously with the abilities he has as well you name it absolutely agree those abilities are a hard counter to the shotting gun or chi out people but if you don't scale yeah, enough it doesn't exactly. matter you know yeah me and tony talk she's very relative they fight it is a very fluent anything can happen fight that's a good video idea actually me and towards itachi oh yeah that's a good one yeah yeah if you were in akatsuki who would you be partnered with pain or itachi uh probably Ita- i'd rather be partnered with itachi <laughs> yeah itachi yeah yeah uh, I feel like, I feel like we, we'd more know. likely win the strategizing a war game as well, too. Yeah. yeah. Pain would just be like, let me take care of this shit. I'm a god. It would be like, let's plan this shit out. You literally. And then and then you win, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't really like Damon or Ida either, but maybe Ida kind of grow. Uh, she's just, yeah, it's fine. In fact, with Kwaku is just a dumb reason to do shit, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think Barrow Mode is even stronger physically in Chakra than Damon, but Damon might still kill Naruto, especially with Killer Intent. Yeah, the reflection of fucking, of fucking thoughts and shit. That's insane, man. Like Naruto would have to blitz him. It's the only way. He's fucking cracked. Um, yeah. No limiter. No limiter code versus Ishiki. Heavily fatigued. Bro. Uh, heavily fatigued. I mean, if he's fatigued enough, he might be weaker than Jigen. And the code would beat him. Depends how fatigued he is. Yeah. Yeah, it really depends. Chibe is so overpowered. Yeah, facts, dude. No limiter code. Uh, maybe take it over for TD Ishiki mid diff if you think code would claw mark him. Yeah, exactly. It depends on what TD is. Ishiki versus Boo Saga Goku. At that point, Goku is already like like Super Saiyan three Goku. Like uh, I think Boo in general is beyond Galaxy. You can even argue Universal. At that point, is when Ishiki would start to struggle. Um, Goku is inferior to Boo. So we could argue, if you're high balling him, he's like Galaxy. Low balling, he's in between Solar System and Galaxy, which is where I have Ishiki anyway. Um, now, if we see Ishiki that fought Naruto, Bayramo Naruto, I think Ishiki would lose because Goku would outlast him. Um, but if it's full power Ishiki, that might get interesting. That might get interesting actually. Um, that'd be a tough fight. Uh, his Sukuna Hokona would be a problem. Him shrinking shit constantly would be a problem. Obviously, speed would be a huge factor. Like, how, how do their speeds compare? Um, things like that. I would lean towards Goku in most cases, though. There's probably some instances where Ishiki could win. But most of the time, Goku. Depending on what you presuppose, of course. Could Hashirama's plant spores be a counter to Kamui? If not, then would White Mass Obito and Love Hashirama be a battle of nutrition until one of them tires out? Most likely, Obito. Hashirama's plant spores be a counter to Kamui. That's a good point, because theoretically, if he Kamui's, if Obito Kamui's himself and there's spores in the air, it might follow him into the dimension. Those spores, respective spores, may follow him. Yep. So that's a good point. It could be. And could he has be. to breathe as well. He cannot just stop yeah, breathing. And he, yeah, and he can't stop breathing. Kamui doesn't allow that. Just, 
go to different dimensions. So that's a good point. Um, I think it would be a problem. He would have to... Obito would have to hold his breath and exit the area, the radius of effect of spores. If it's like a large, vast radius and he can't exit, then maybe he does inhale them and then he gets poisoned. Um, if it isn't a counter, then yeah, it would be a battle of attrition and uh, Hashirama would win that. Uh, um, Obito has the best mix up besides Itachi when it comes to MS abilities. Obito had literal teleportation. If Minato could encounter the Shangra and he would have lost them. I mean, it's, it, abilities vary between shotgun users. Sukiyomi is pretty potent. Amatras is potent. Yeah. Bro, this is guy in my sim right now, Jay, saying that Anoki skills to Madara. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why he, that's why he was missing his pants when he saw him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro. He's, he's over here to say, well, like, uh, Onoki was able to dodge attacks from all, from Madara. I'm like, bro, you know damn well that motherfucker was holding back. The whole and the, time. Like, the, the whole time. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You know that. Come on now. And he's, like, holding back Madara's stuff out. I'm like, that doesn't scale anywhere, bro. We have no idea what that power is. It could just be literally uh, to the Kage's power of him holding back. Because he's trying to have, like, you know, a fair match, basically. He's just fucking around with them and, and literally experimenting with them. He's trying to see and gauge their power. It's literally what he tells Zetsu, you know, just to have fun yeah, and shit. Absolutely. And then, when, and then when they're talking shit after he's severely holding back, he's like, he's like, oh, you motherfuckers want to talk shit? All right, bet. Let me do some uh fucking, like, what would he do? Like, 10 or fucking 15 clones? <laughs> no, he did five clones. Yeah, he did five on one. So, yeah, he had 15 uh, fucking clones and five clones fighting each Kage and then go Susano. And when he asked him, he's like, do you want them to use Susano or not, you little fodder-ass fucks? You know what I mean? Yeah, he's not. He's let, literally letting himself. Man was hit. literally toying with his food, bro. And then when he's finally had yeah. enough, like, then he goes full power and goes perfect Susano, and they're all just shitting their bed. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he nah. didn't even need perfect Susano. He could have just done that shit by himself. Like, Yeah, the fuck? Um... Jigen versus Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Cell games. Enraged Gohan would beat Jigen. Jigen's below Ishiki. So, yeah. So uh, he would blitz fucking Jigen. Ishiki versus Super Saiyan 1 good uh, Vegeta. Uh, probably Ishiki. Uh, Vegeta's not that strong compared to like so, to like Galaxy Busters and stuff like that. Which is where Ishiki probably scales around. Ishiki versus Super Saiyan 2 Cell games. <sighs> That's a tough one. Ishii's a full power. Max speed, max attributes. It's hard to quantify the difference between those two. Um, if Ishii can survive, he'd win. If the rage starts to wear off, more than likely Gohan gets weaker. Um, obviously, the speed discrepancy would matter. I would greatly dictate the winner of that. I'd probably lean towards Ishii. To be clear, Sasuke's left eye is a 6 tome Rene gun. Madara and or I guess forehead eye is a Rene Sharon gun. Yeah. I mean, technically, you can call Sasuke's a Rene Sharon gun as well. It's a Rene gun with Tomoe. So. But yeah, folks, about five more minutes will depart. Five more minutes. Any final questions you folks have? Bro, hey, you want to know what his refutation was to the, to the previous stuff I said? He said, we do know base Madara no EMS can react to KCM2 Naruto. How the fuck does that correlate to Anoki? Like, where are you going with uh, even that? <laughs> uh, There's a guy fucking ratting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, shit. Bullshit. I think he knows he's bullshitting. It's, um, he knows. It's funny as fuck, uh, though. Which Dojutsu is better, Six Tomei Renegon or Rene Sharingan? I mean, it, it depends. Uh, I would say that Jubi Dars is probably better than late war Sasuke's Rene Sharingan. I mean, he was able, capable of doing the infinite Tsukuyomi, but adult prime Sasuke's Rene Sharingan is probably better than Jubi Dars. It depends. Richimaru, Mayuri, Kisuke, Amado, Bulma, Dr. Jiro, Dr. Reese, Aizen. Yes, I consider I as an experimental scientist. Oh yeah, he certainly is. He certainly is. All the experiments he did on the uh, Soul Society members to qualification and all that weird shit he did. Yeah, he's yeah. A, a mad scientist. If anything, though, Aizen's kind of like a combination of Itachi and Orochimaru, though. 
Yeah. This pure you know? brilliance and like yeah. psychopath. Like uh, he's not an idiot like Earl Chamar or fodder like him either. That's a difference. Yeah, exactly. Who had more ambition, Madara or Orochimaru? Ambition? Uh, they both were pretty... Uh, Orochimaru gave up quicker. Probably yeah. Madara. Uh, uh, Madara had to die. Madara, to Madara even acquired fucking... To become a 10 tails Jinjutiki, bro. Like, you ever see Orochimaru yeah. getting to that point? <laughs> yeah. Definitely more... Madara definitely more ambitious. Yeah. Which of these scientists are the most overpowered in terms of accomplishment? Mm, I mean... Dr. Jiro's pretty great. Yeah. Eisen's pretty great. Amato has done so much shit, man. The shit he's created for his respective verse. Fucking Damon, Ida, fucking Koji. Literally. Code. A, a human, it might bro. Be Doesn't even use chakra. Uh, a fucking human, bro. It might be Amato because he his cyborgs fucked up the whole verse. I mean, Eisen did a lot of shit too. He was defeated in the end, though. Amato really, his creations were never yeah, really. Amato's just built different, yeah. Like, like even even yeah. the guy in Dragon Ball Z, his shit was defeated or dealt with. You know? What yeah, I mean? even Jiro, like, Aizen was defeated. Mayuri, yeah. Mayuri's pretty smart, but his accomplishments are not on the level of Aizen. No. Kisuke, Kisuke kind of like doesn't have the ambition that Aizen had. Um, so I'd probably say Amato to be honest, man. This shit is fucking. <laughs> shit he, he got that fucking, drip too, bro. <laughs> yeah, and he has drip, so. Uh, Kakashi versus Itachi in Taijutsu. Like Taijutsu speed, Itachi. Um, yeah, and even if it was just normal Taijutsu, still Itachi. So yeah, Itachi. Itachi um, was literally a genius, like prodigy ninja. Like, like yeah, Kakashi probably, was as yeah. well, but like Kakashi was like above that, you know. Yeah, let's look at it. Itachi's Itachi swapping hands with Casey Monaro. Kakashi struggling with like V two Jinchuriki and stuff. So. Literally. Yeah. What if, uh, but, 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 but Jay, uh, he, he he was fighting hand to hand with Obito. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, they would use. You that know, shit. people still use that shit to this day, bro. On my server and everything. Uh, like, oh my god, he was uh, Ralto to Obito with the. <laughs> he was holy back, retard. Fuck. He really was. He you can even you can even argue hard. he was mentally nerfed too of thinking uh, of and you know, mentally nerfed. Yeah, like, uh, he literally hit him in his fucking heart. He's like, there's nothing in my heart because you let me hit you. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, he's fucking holding back. Like, oh, man. You know, uh, yeah, like, like it's, if, just, it's just blatant different. It's blatantly shown that he's struggling yeah. in a goddamn V2. You know what I mean? Uh, Casey <laughs> Naruto's going blow for blow with, with fucking Itachi. Like, come on. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Literally. What if Bulma turned herself into an android? <laughs> she probably would do that to not age. I guess that'd be cool. I, mean, I guess she'd be rele- more relevant. She's oh, like but, but, fighting. But, but, but Jay, the V2 were fighting Casey and Naruto and B as well, and they were beating their ass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking shit, like trash Even ass. Though there's plenty of trashy. context. You know what I mean? Like fucking Obito's there, you name it. They're not even at full power anymore. Yeah. Yada yada. They're getting jumped. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> So ratty. Like, Kakashi outsped Minato. Like, shut the fuck up. You have that bullshit, Casey. Uh, I'm two minutes uh, off. Shut the dumb, fucking dumbass up. He's fucking <laughs> dazed the whole time. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, that's fucking bullshit. Um, who is more depraved and malicious at their worst? Rochimaru or Aizen? Uh, probably Rochimaru. At their worst? Rochimaru's pretty fucking sadistic. Um, who was worse, Cell or Kid Boo? Kid Buu is just a mani- just a force of he nature. He's a hit on, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's fucking... a force of nature that, like, yeah, all That's he wanted crazy. was to devour, devour and conquer. And he's Cell bully like... people. Like, like he was such yeah. a savage. Like, Cell was just like he was just like a cruel little bitch. You yeah, know? he's he, a dick. He's more chill. Yeah, yeah, he's more chill. He's like, hey, let's let's have a tournament. Like, yeah, and that too. But... Yeah, like he was just having fun yeah. competing. Boo, he was just he didn't yeah. he didn't give a fuck. He was just devouring. It was like yeah. it was like Jigen to Madara and savagery all over again. That's the comparison Literally. between yeah, Boo yeah. and Cell. <laughs> yeah, like Cell was like a little polite. Kid Boo is like just eating shit. That's all it was. Uh, <laughs> or or, or summoning a big ass pink ball of energy with fucking chocolate yeah. finger. Like I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's all. He was just like a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yeah. Or Who beating his chest posture. after beating someone's ass like a monkey. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, literally, that's the shit he was fucking doing. Who had more hatred, Sasuke or Madara? Sasuke. Madara didn't really have hate, I'd say. Um, yeah, no. Who had more hate Who had, who had more hate toward Donzo, Itachi, or Sasuke? Oh, Sasuke, bro. 
Yeah, all, all, of, all yeah. of Madara's hatred mainly developed during the wars and as a kid, you name it, yada yada. But the moment he, um, and also during like the whole like village and Uchiha shit. But the moment he yeah. was defeated by Hashirama, it humbled him. It basically humbled yeah, him in a did. way, and he realized like he's not going to be able to, you know, acquire things with just hatred and power alone, that he's going to have to strategize and plan and do things smartly. And then that's what he literally does. And he literally, kid you not, fucking waits years bro like that motherfucker is old as fuck and then Literally. finally enforces his plan and manipulates obito and goes like that motherfucker was so desperate you know what i mean he wasn't even trying to use the power of hatred and that no he's like you know what? fuck it i'll keep my power it is what it is i'm just gonna plan this shit out now like fuck this shit i can't yeah. beat Hashirama, so let me just do it another way and that's literally what he does so like, exactly. when it comes to hatred he let that shit go a long time ago yeah, he did. To be honest, like, the only person he really ha- would still have anything re- uh, re- really remotely would be still against like Toby Rama. That's it, though. Yeah, like Toby Rama. Yeah, that's yeah. like the closest uh, he has to hate, basically. Um, let's see. Yeah, Moto got it. Um, but people are sleeping on Bull Machine with the time machine. Yeah, that's a good feat. That's a good feat, for sure. Six got mad about that. I saw it in a tweet. Like, someone was saying that, too. Like, Bowen doing all the shit she did. And then Six was like, you clearly didn't watch Dragon Ball. And I was like, wait, I thought she did make that shit, though. <laughs> so I don't know. Six yeah. apparently doesn't agree with that. So, I don't know. Yeah. I, I forgot about the shit about Bulma, honestly. Um, Sasuke had way more hatred than moderate to me. Yeah, easily. But, yeah, folks, I think that's, I think that's where we're going to wrap the show up today. Very good stream. JJK heavy. Now that I'm caught up, I'm going to stay on it. You know, beyond the JJK grind, videos will come soon for JJK. Has to be done. I'm gonna be watch- I'm gonna be reading the manga tonight. Yay! Yeah, I'm, the, the, I'm definitely literally going to make a Gojo is not a fraud video just to pay respects to the goat. Definitely gotta um, go. Yeah. I have to do that. I've seen too much disrespect on social media. Him getting shit talked, called a fucking fraud. The author getting death threats. Like this shit has to stop. So I'm gonna definitely try to do my part. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, folks. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already it's really appreciated make sure to hit that like button um hopefully we have the f- full squad soon in time we'll let you guys know yes sir um, we'll see you next Life's time been a bitch. We'll see you next time yes sir we'll see you next time folks peace